So where we last left off, Moth was in dire peril with his character, got trapped by the death beams. Um, Ericlades was sipping his cup of tea, I guess, at the campsite. What was your character doing the whole time at the campsite? Ah, uh, what a peaceful afternoon. <laughs> mm, I wonder what the others are up to. Yep. But no, um, your character was, uh, I think the group decided you're going to protect the encampment. So you'd be overseeing operations as they're going in exploring this this cave. Uh, I think you need to be brought up to speed on what they found. So go ahead, test right, go ahead, de de I guess, debrief him. So, um, I radio back to, uh, Yul Mug's character, Eric Lades, and, uh, tell him that we found a cave opening that had a force field in front of it. So, we solved a puzzle by some miracle that lowered the force field. We got in, and once we were in the cave... There's a bunch of statues and traps everywhere. And the way the traps work is that if you step on a pressure plate or whatever, uh, there's a beam of brilliant blue light that comes down right where you're standing and uh, kills you if you're not quick enough to get out of the way. And... There was also a giant combination lock that looked suspiciously like an altar. And we tried solving the combination lock. But that didn't work and it just pissed off all the traps. And then the traps started shooting at us. So we decided to try our luck uh, going a little bit further in. And uh, yeah... We triggered a lot of the traps now, and we're, uh, one of the statues has come alive, and we're in dire straits. It's not come alive, it's just, I was describing that he sees the eyes peering at, at, uh, Moss character. That isn't coming alive? It hasn't moved an inch. Its eyes are just peering at him. That's all he noticed. Got it. It's not like it's he saw... Over its eyes with tissue paper that it can't see. <clears throat> and they realized attacking anything will send whatever they send back out back at them twice as hard. Yep. So shooting is not really an option, they figured. Okay. Yeah, I threw a frag grenade at one of those traps and it came back and blew up and left a uh, Space Marine sized crater. So I know that it's. Not just a frag grenade, whatever came back at me. So, yeah, we were in we some shit. A key piece of information here. Yeah, the giant mothership force coming your way slowly. Oh, oh, yeah. Also, aside from that. That, that seems somewhat important. Yeah. So go well, ahead and We, we on failed that. opening the first door in here and somebody lost an arm. Oh, yeah, Dan yeah, lost the arm. Yeah, about that one. Because it was just so interesting. But you regrew it back, right, with your powers? Uh, no. No. Oh, he just has his arm gone still. Okay. We so went it... back to the base camp and got him a robot arm. I think. You got him medical Can we attention. Do that? I mean, he's going to be... You guys are nowhere near that technology, so he's probably at base camp. Uh, recovering. Well, no. He's he's here. He just... Uh, he's right there. We can send him back. Since he won't be here this time. Oh, God. You said he's just going to be late. Okay. Yeah. Let him have the chance to uh, remove his other arm. Okay. Yeah, I don't want... Yeah, okay. I'd rather do that when he's here, not when he's away. But anyways. Yeah. Well, that was just the luck. He could have literally straight up died, too. Because he rolled the D100 and whatever body part they landed on. That's what he lost. Don't lose your head. Or torso. Yeah, he could literally just end up being dead. He could have been insta-gibbed. So I was like, I'll give you a chance to not die. Roll the dice. 
And it was his right arm, or was it his left arm? I believe uh, it was his left arm. But I don't remember. Okay. <clears throat> so, Ericlades, at this point, you're hearing all these... Th Are you guys trying to reach out as all this chaos is unfolding to Ericlades? Yeah. So, let me switch to that man. You guys are already in the cave, so. Oh. Eric Hayes, you should be down towards the south. So at this point you hear this all this dire communication, you know that the enemy mothership is gonna be in your your area in under five hours. And the next time your ships are gonna be in, in range, I don't know if the people have told you what's going on, the ship dropped you guys off, dealt the way, and they'll be back in four hours. Okay. So because they're doing they're doing four hour cycles to check to basically check up on you guys. So it's just you, the base camp, and the 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 ten Imperial Guardsmen Scouts, the elite of the elite, for Guardsmen. Okay. Well then. Do you guys need me to come in to the Death Cave with you? Yes, but watch out for traps. So you haven't triggered all of them, then? Not all of them. Uh, I think we trigger all of them and make it easier to walk through them all. <laughs> yes, except for the fact that they leave a lingering force field after they've been triggered. So that also, may not work. Also, they can work. only be triggered by a person triggering them, not other things. Yeah, we couldn't throw a rock at it. I see. So you told him where the cave was, because he hasn't necessarily gone to it yet. Then I shall be on my way. So it's due north of your position. Your character hasn't been there, so you don't know where it's at. So you're going to have to find it. You going to move your character? To be fair, it's the only thing in a giant open plane. Oh. And all I see is pitch blackness. Uh, so I can see it on the map. <laughs> yep, that too. So, as you approach this portal, you don't feel the connection to the warp at all. Getting close to the portal of this. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's like a void, almost. In fact, do a willpower check. And minus, minus 50 on yourself. You guys there? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Wanted to see. Okay. Your guy is absolutely petrified as soon as he peers into that that hole. Absolutely petrified. Oh, well, that's perfect. I will uh, use a uh, Inspire on myself to okay. unpetrify myself. Sweet! Okay, so you march in. Well, it's a force power. Oh, okay. Nice. Right. I am unafraid again. I realize okay. it's going to disappear once I walk in, but at least I steeled myself with that initial thing, and I'm familiar with it now, so it can't happen again. Yep. So, I'll bring you in. It's your character. I hate how it doesn't... Okay, there it is.
it's up. You don't feel any connection to the warp at all, so. I'm here. Sweet. Now, why is there a giant penis drawn on this map? Penis? Is it a green thing? Yeah, I said the same thing. No, but they're you marking the laces I put on the boot. Why would you? No, do that? they're marking the safe zones from the, where the traps are at. They're marking where they could stab, where they couldn't stab, because the traps would insta trap you. So what's this big red thing? Oh, that's the symbol. Oh, that is the dial. Is basically a lock combination to. Um, Proceed forward because there was a there was an invisible barrier they couldn't get past. Gotcha. So they had to find the combination lock. There was literally an invisible barrier they could not see, touch, taste, feel, nothing. So they had to figure a way to get through that. They couldn't blow their way through, so they had to do the combination. Uh, and right now, I don't know if you can see Moss character. He's surrounded by three of these giant, basically pillars. Uh, so the way I described to them, it looks like a energy blanket type thing that's kind of like pulsating, and it is a column of it from the ceiling down to the ground. And what these can do, and then and I'm going to inform you what they can do. So they they turn different colors, and what they do. Uh, they realize green is neutralized, doesn't do anything. Red is when it starts to kill things. And blue is when it's just a, a shield that prevents movement and kills all kinetic energy. So Mo Moss character is currently trapped in this pillar that is uh, blue. And the other two below him, both left and right, They've turned into the red energy that I was describing, and it has basically looks like death lasers blasting down on the ground and liquefying the ground as it's moving around, and it stopped right, right around Mouse character. It stopped right there. So they don't, they don't, uh, what's the word? Uh, go into one another. Converge. Yeah, converge. Whatever. So that. That tells you Moss character is probably going to meet the same fate as those other traps. Because those were once the other traps on the left hand side. And they now have since moved. Actively trying to kill the, the, the group. So. Yes, and the traps got very angry when we tried solving the uh, the giant combination lock. And they all turned red and started shooting at us. He failed twice. Failed a couple times. There's failure states. You met him. And the statues, do they have any kind of iconography or anything? Is there any iconography anywhere in this tunnel? Other than just on the giant combination lock? Go ahead and do observation check. Are you, are you observing the statues? Yeah. So an awareness check? Yeah, you can do awareness or Xena or Xenos lore or whatever you want to do. Scrutiny, maybe. Scrutiny would be another one you could use. Um you know, looking at the statue, you see that the one closest to Moss Moss character, its eyes are peering right at him. You don't see any iconography of any sort per se. You see that's an that's a old ancient alien statue esque figure that's humanoid in appearance. Gotcha. And it's made of stone too. That line thing. It has no other discernible uh symbolism on it. There's my Xenosaur to trying to determine uh Anything about these statues or anything else? I'm gonna five point five success. You've heard you've heard tales. They're possibly uh, 
Guardians of the Entry, basically. That's all. That's all you get, kind of coming to your mind, that they're responsible to protecting the entry point, that what these statues usually represent, and that's all you know. So they're not modeled after some other alien species. They're just their own thing. Yeah, the old ones. You know, it's the the you know from their information and looking at this, you're pretty certain this is like old one guardian of some sort guarding this entry point. And it's a, it's a stone statue. That's all you know. You don't know of any technology associated with it per se. At least you haven't heard anything. But it wouldn't be your character. Uh, it wouldn't be um, what's the word? Out of this world to think that it is technological. In some way. You just don't know how. It's beyond your character's understanding. Yeah, sure. But you know for certain those eyes are peering at Moss character Brasora. Now I'm assuming you're looking at the other ones too? Yep. Okay. Do awareness check two, three more times? Yes, yeah, three more. This is the one time I will ever be aware of anything. That's funny. So you're looking at these statues, and you notice that all of their eyes are peering at somebody. One of the statues is now peering at you. You don't see any movement in the eyes. It's just like they're just staring. Even when other people move, they don't. the eyes don't seem to just move in, or move at all. It just seems like they just become looking in that direction. Really odd to you. Looking at it. If that makes sense. if that makes sense, it doesn't look like the eyes moving to look at its target. It looks like it just is. Yeah. So your character's like in awe of that. It's just so out out, out of place. Mm-hmm. Right, now what is this thing? Uh, what thing? This thing. Oh, this it's a, it is another statue, a, a different type of being or entity. It has. Uh, giant wings, as you see there. It has a giant glowing eye of some sort. And there is a rock formation all around it. And then I'm assuming, you, uh, Tesseract, you're telling them, did your character observe what those rocks were? Um, Last game? which rocks? That's around, uh, the statue boy here. I can't even see that. My vision doesn't go that far. Must have been... Okay, so... I'll, so, okay, Dan's character that. did see it. So, Dan's character saw that there was the star symbols that they you guys used to enter into this facility and use the combination locks. You see those on the rocks themselves as well. Is there any clear, discernible pattern of them on the rocks that we could potentially use to solve the combination lock thing. So you Where see did the combo lock. Yeah, this is the rocks though, so is third separate puzzle. Yeah, you're seeing ah. line, you're seeing line, line, straight, straight, and then the circle. Circles. And and yeah, you know, like you don't know what we're talking about, so I'll switch over to the other map so I can get those symbols over here as well, so you know what they're talking about. So one, two, three, right? I was pasting in this area, so. Uh, where do you want this? Right there?
Uh. So you got uh, one, two, and three. So this is designated as the line formation that you talked about. And then mm -hmm. this, this one is the circles. And then you see another symbol that isn't this triangle. It's straight. It's just like a, a, a straight dash line. So like a blank. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, I'll draw. I'll draw what it what you see. Oh yeah. See that? In the last session, we determined that these are based on constellations. Yep. Which we can't see because it's daytime, and it will be daytime on this planet for the next year. Correct. Okay. So uh, it is a line with uh, two circles on the on opposing side. And you see it in a circular pattern around this statue. Why is your character doing this since it's you see Moss character trap and two death beams surrounding him? <laughs> and those statues that I mentioned. Is anyone that attacks the statues? No, we have Every not attacked the statue. Something it has rebounded with stronger force right back at us. It, yeah, uh, so they describe to you when they fired or shot something, it stops, basically, it goes out, stops in midair, it looks like something's energized it, and fires right back at the user. But I wonder if it would do that for Yomug sharks. Uh, I can't use psychic powers in here. Oh. <laughs> so short answer, no it can't. Damn. So is there a repeating pattern around this thing? One, two, and then this line? So the pattern... Well, the th yeah, hold up. The, you don't see the third pattern, though. You see the first two patterns. So you see... Here's what you see. You see line, line, which is, which is that new pattern. And then... Or actually, the uh, first one. I'll just call it... Uh, yeah, one. So I'll just call it one. Line, one. Line, one. Line, one. Straight, straight. Circle, circle. And the straight is that new symbol. The line with two stars on it. And you got three circles at the end. And it's all in a circular pattern around this figure. And you see the that eye staring. Here, I'll show you where it's staring at. Just kind of help indicate where everything's at. Green arrow. So currently the eye is staring in this direction. Down the hallway towards the the lock combination you guys just came from. Is there any uh, older stuff around this thing? Like, can we walk around it, or is it? There were traps all around it, if I remember right. Death traps that can kill you or trap you. Mostly, these traps seem initially harmless, and they trap you in the force field, like Moss characters currently stuck in. But they can turn deadly if you are incorrect in the puzzle solving. You've learned, every character has learned this so far. Is your character a smart character? Do you think you'd be able to discern that? I could probably also discern that they could just tell me that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck up or you'll die. Yep. So, but yes, you can walk around, you can look around, you can see other symbology uh, elsewhere if you want to look for that. Uh, it is a vast cavern you see. 
Oh, uh, you see that blue line down over here, the big wide one? Yep. Don't go past that line. The are entire you... area down there is just one giant trap, apparently. Are you talking about this? Yeah, he's talking about the, uh, this one right here. So uh, Dan discovered that this is the trap down below. Past that is death. Well, and um, here. are you gonna look for traps? Yeah, we have looked up here. Uh, Dan informs you there are traps in the area. He hasn't seen anything yet, so he tells you what, what you're looking for. It's like very slight disturbances, but like most of the ground is so old, there's you can get false positives. So it's a minus sixty look for traps. And even with his help, it's still minus sixty. They're just extremely hard to discern. Sure. And there's no point looking then. We found a few doing that. Uh, minus sixty for me would be a negative four that I have to roll under. Uh, so mm, impossible. Um but he tells you you're obviously safe where you're at. You haven't hit any traps, and I actually have the traps on the GM overlay, so I'll be paying paying attention when you actually land on a trap. So you're safe where you're at now. So uh Cyberbird, go. Oh yeah, that's right. You got that thing, don't you? Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's see where if I save that wizard. I think I saved that wizard somewhere. Sight wizard. Hello. 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 Oh, what up, Dan? Uh, sorry, it took so long. Uh, it doesn't I matter. Know. He just got on sight, so we got him up to speed. So it all worked out. Oh, okay. What is that thing? That is his little bird. Ah. That I cannot control. Give me a second. Oh, while I'm trapped in this bubble, I'm gonna go get some coffee, I guess. I'll be right back. Yeah. There are supposedly uh, more of those traps around here. Absolutely. Around here. So what is that? Answer. What is that? What is that bird precisely? What is the wording on that? Is it as a, a mechanical bird of some sort? Yeah, it's a cyber eagle. Got it. Suddenly, a hole in space time opens up above Moth's character's head, and uh, coffee pours out into a mug that he's conveniently holding. Sure. No, but um, Dan, his character came into the cave. He's now c disconnected from the warp. Shouldn't that be very painful for him right now? Didn't feel any pain. But it was a void, essentially, to him. He overcame his fear. He actually had to do a willpower check coming in. He used a power to before going in. He backed up, used the power, and went in. Mm. <sighs> so he is disconnected. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Let me mark... These things so you can see where they're at. So, or I'll choose a different color, which is red, and then it's gonna be line, line, or that particular line. Well, I mean, not to do extra large, let's do regular. There's that straight with this, uh, yeah, straight, straight. And they have dots. Circle. Dot, straight line, dot. Yeah, I'm not going to draw all that. Circle, circle, and circle. It's all pointing in that direction. Okay. Do you want to take a look at the other ones? Those are the ones you can see. Yeah. And I'm back. Welcome back. So how are you are you gonna walk over there? Yeah, I'm gonna see my bird everywhere. Oh, you should have control of the bird now. Uh okay. So does that bird have an agility check of some sort? Oh I have no idea. Hmm. It's gonna need it. Let it like right out of trap. 
Like, it could have been more perfect. <laughs> and it has triggered it. But it reports back to you that there are no symbols on the other rocks, strangely enough. Looks like it's just... It looks like it... On top of the rock, it looks like there's something to be placed there. On these blank ones? On the blank ones, like something's supposed to be placed there, yes. Are they like... In the shape of the symbols, or...? A rock has a curvature into the rock itself. Like if another rock were to go into it. Okay. So your character could easily deduce other rocks go on top of that. Just looking how, at it. How big are they? They're twice the size of the initial rocks you guys have. The, the initial one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rocks. I guess do to do you uh, use your agility check then modifier that bird needs to get out of there and do a minus ten since he's a lot faster than you you would be I guess oh Probably by you. the way you have a a natural agility yep okay so the bird dodges cool. out of that nice off to everybody trap falls there. And it immediately turns red. And you see a giant laser come down to it, and it looks like it's going at your bird. So, so it's chasing the bird. <laughs> yeah, it's chasing the bird. I fly on top of this thing. It, okay. So it holds its position right next to the statue. Yeah, it won't hurt yourself, will you? <laughs> so whatever that is, is probably controlling the lasers. So by destroying it, we probably get rid of the lasers. However, it's littered around with traps, which we cannot see. So getting to it is a bit problematic. Another thing, the statues are looking at us all. They have four yes. of them, yep. Oh, you can just look at them back. It's okay. Or we could one. cover their vision. With or what? maybe pop their eyes out and put them in the slots. Do their eyes look like stones? Yes. Oh, slightly, well, their slightly eyes look glowing. Like constellation patterns. Oh, it looks like no. Uh, their eyes are slightly glowing, you noticed. It's very faint. You wouldn't have noticed it otherwise if it wasn't for your suit's enhancements. Mm hmm. Very faint glow, but it, their eyes are glowing, and they're like I said, they're not moving per se, but they're just looking direction of of character. Well, I say they look like stones that can be placed in those rocks. Yeah, maybe. Well then, someone the other... needs to climb one of these things. Quick, very low, go. Carve out some statue eyeballs. Uh... Are you sure that is going to end well, brother? <clears throat> Has anyone tried just touching a statue? Not attacking it, but just touching it. Who's going to touch it? it? I'm going to touch it. Okay. I poke it. With my finger. Okay. Your hand immediately stops. You can't pull away from it, can't push towards it. Uh-oh. Quick, we need hot water. It's like sticking your tongue to a frozen pole. <laughs> <laughs> done that often, have you? What? So done that often, have you? Uh, maybe. Well, now I'm stuck to this giant statue thing. Is it looking at me? No, but one of them is that yell mug can tell you that it is or isn't, but the one nearest the one you're at right now, no, it's staring at Moth. Got it. Uh, do, do an awareness check. Alright. Who? 
his character, one that just touched the statue. Yeah, mine is um, mine is twenty. Nope. You don't notice it. Okay, cool. <laughs> but you're stuck. Can I try and unstuck myself? Maybe I can logic to figure out how to unstuck. Can I logic Go. my way out of this? Maybe. Sure. All right. What's the modifier? Uh, minus thirty. Oh my god! Use your other hand to touch it. Is what you came up with. Oh, that's a ninety-nine. Oh my god! You, you're gonna use your other hand to to push off. You just need more strength. Is all your character's thinking. I need more strength to get off this thing. All right. If you need more strength. Why not use a foot instead? <laughs> He's going to use the other hand. So both my hands are stuck to this statue. No, no, no that's your, it's logic. So your character's thinking that. you. I don't. I can't force your character's actions. So you can roll out of this. You can try to... No, I'm going to I'm gonna do it. I'm all it? in. Okay. I'm all in on this idiocy. Yep. Okay. So I get both my hands stuck. Yeah, it instantly gets stuck <laughs> as soon as you touch it. <laughs> Instantaneously. Uh, go ahead, do awareness check. At minus 10 this time. Alright. Oh. You barely notice that where your hands meet with the statue, your armor's starting to turn to stone. Oh, no. Uh. Are my hands turning to stone under the armor, or is it just the armor? You're just noticing the armor right now. It hasn't reached your hands per se, but you're noticing ever so slightly that your metal is starting to turn to stone. And it looks like it's pulling you in, too, a little bit. So sl Ever so slightly. Uh... Um... Brother yes. Karnoff, quickly! Cut my arms off! <laughs> or you could just pull your hands out of the gauntlets. One second. Um, one second. So what are we you doing? Definitely here? Need, we should definitely do need your, the result. Yeah, uh, I think you're not... I, sh I should not do that, but I will help you out. Alright. And I activate my jump pack and fly over to him and try to pull him out. Like, try so you're, you're, around... You're, you're, around are, you uh, are you touching him? I'm gonna touch him. As soon as you do that, your hands can no longer move. Like it's oh, like no. <laughs> Come on and do the conga. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Quick, we just need one more space frame. <laughs> we have a trail. Uh, right? Um, so if I attempt to move it away from the field, like from him, nothing happens. It's just stuck there. As soon as you touch him, your hands, you can't, you feel them, you're not able to pull them off at all, period. It's like you're glued to him. Squeeze! Can I attempt any checks to move? Like Go for it. Or strength? Go for it. Are you going to try to bust out of your armor? What are you doing? I'm just trying to force my way. Just trying to brute force. Brute force? Yes. Okay, go for it. Alright, so that's going to be... It's going to be a minus, minus 60 if you're trying to like rip your armor apart to get out of this. I'm just like trying to move uh, my arm, and if I notice that it's like destroying my arm or like my armor, uh, if it's destroying my arm, I will stop. If it's just ripping my arm more. You lost apart. arm last last session, I recall. Uh, yes, I only have one arm left. Right. I was like, what are you talking about, arms? You have arm. No, I said one arm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if I notice that my arm is getting strained, I will stop, but if it's just my armor, I will not stop. So it's like, what, minus 60 on my strength to check? Yeah, if you're, yeah, yeah, if you're trying to get, you just destroy armor and whatnot. I succeed. Succeed, and you're, you see that your armor and his armor are just slightly ripping apart. Uh, go ahead and do an awareness check. Modifier? Plus 20. 
And as you're pulling away, it looks like his armor is just fusing into where that all that damage that you're doing. Like your armor is you're just basically welding as you're pulling away. Your character pretty stuck. So basically it's like our armors are fused together. Yeah, you're just make you're creating more damage as you're pulling away. You, you definitely do some damage. What if this is one of those Chinese finger trap things where you have to push into it in order to release yourself? <laughs> uh. <sighs> so brute force does not work. Yeah. Can Virlo move for further in, or is he stuck? Like go no matter where he goes. He, he. Go ahead, you to try to push forward, uh, Tesseract? Yeah, I'm going to push forward slightly, not enough to where my whole body would get sucked into this statue. Oh, it feels solid as soon as you push against it. Uh, and I try to pull away again. And your character pulls, you do a strength check. Alright. Are you pulling hard like his character did? Yes. Minus 60. Holy shit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 95. You just see, you just see your armor kind of like disintegrate, rip apart, and it. you see that stone for certain, like, growing around your gauntlet now. There's now like a plume of stone, like where you ripped the metal apart, and it was like breaking apart, just turned it stone instantly. Now your hand's about six six yeah. inches away from the statue. Oh boy. Mm. Eric, ladies, you must act now. Oh, it's that quick, is it? Oh, very well. Come over here. I was going to ask what was uh, the symbols that were on the, the dial. The dial? Oh, they already solved that puzzle. It was the, it was the, the same symbols that I showed you, the first three symbols. And that was the oh, okay. No, we no, we so. failed that puzzle, remember? Because all the you traps know, got solved angry. It. You solved it, you failed twice and activated traps. Oh. So it was, a, it was um, you, you eventually could have solved it, because it was only a three combination thing, but every time you fail, it activates a trap. Got it. So. Into a death beam. But those death beams are assuming the love of Moth, though. And Moth, you're starting to see that that shimmering uh, light start to turn a kind of an orange color now. Eraclades, cut my arms off. I don't think my force staff will work. I'll have to borrow this giant chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw. It's going to be painful. Yes. Go I on. would rather endure pain than suffer death. Good. Here it comes. Are you, are you are you hitting his arm with a chainsword? Yeah. Yep. It, like, well, where like it's his, not stone. Like just behind his hands, you know. Sure. Is it your it, own chainsword, or is it like my chainsword? That's your chainsword. Where oh, where's yeah. where's your chainsword at, Dan? It was like stowed along my belt because I was trying to use my hand to pull off. Okay, pull yep. out Earth ladies. Oh, oh god. Oh no, wait, hold on. Stop, stop. I see where this is going and it's not happening. <laughs> okay, <laughs> your character like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not about to conga line that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so your character thinks for a second, wait a minute. Alright. I have this neat power sword. You can come in here in this barrier and get it. <laughs> Why don't you just toss me the sword? Uh, because then it'll come back at him twice somebody, as powerful. Somebody toss a rock at one of those other blue barriers that are up so you can see what happens. No, it was the grenade. The rocks do nothing. The rocks? Yeah, yeah rocks no, no. The rocks did nothing when the barriers were down. When the right. barriers were up, they came back at like significant more force. Mm. So if I would throw something inside the barrier here, it would bounce, double its force, bounce back, hit the other wall, double its force again, and you can see where that's going. Well, Double it and give it to the I next guy. I don't see an issue. It builds enough force and eventually will shatter the cage. Well, just just after to turning the cage into a giant sphere of light and killing me in the process. Exactly. Yeah. yeah like, hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't think my force staff is going to work well here. Do you have okay. anything made of wood? Nope. Anything organic? 
just my hands. Could you use the fourth staff to shatter my arms now that they're turned into stone? Well, in here it's just a normal staff. Yeah, it's just a normal stick now. Oh. It's just a fancy metal stick. <laughs> oh boy. Do you have any ranged weapons on you? I do. I've got a crack grenade. Oh. Oh, you know, where are you going to place it? Because his hand is literally suspended I think we all know a crack grenade's going to do absolutely nothing to your armor. Yeah. So. Yeah, but what about the stone part? It might... The stone might be fragile enough or brittle enough to where it'll break under the stress of a crack grenade. Yeah, because his hand's about suspended six inches from the statue now. Hold on. I may just end up getting myself stuck to all of you as well, but... Don't my place soul the, bound, Don't my place soul the crack bound grenade, just throw it. Ignores uh -huh. armor. Mm-hmm. So, so you, knowing that, how would I think it would work if I were to punch his hands? You do need to get close, yes, so that means you will get into the area of You're effect. punching the soul. So you're punching also, right, right where that stone is? That the hands meet the stone? Uh, well, mostly his gauntlets. To try and shatter the gauntlets, but if it ignores armor, I don't know how well that's gonna work. I may just end up punching his hands inside his gloves and then not actually break the gauntlets. Oh, I have a it. feeling if you do it, you're gonna get stuck. I will say that the crack grenades deal 3d10 damage, which uh, Tess does not have 3d10 uh, armor. So Correct. You could do damage. Alright, I'm just gonna take out all three of my crack grenades, stick them on his hands. Oh no. <laughs> so are you dropping them on his hands or are you placing them on his hands? Drop. Like gently, gently dropping them. I don't want to touch the grenade while it's touching his armor. Got yep. it. So, yeah, you see it sticks to his hand every time you drop it. Boop. Alright, and then the last one, I pull the pin, drop it on those two, and then fucking run. Okay. And so I you... scream, good luck, as I do so. So... I close my yeah. eyes and brace for the explosion. <laughs> right. Alright, I'm gonna roll crack grenade um, damage here. Go for it. Uh, bad things are about to happen. Are you ready to roll fate points here? Yeah. To roll, so go ahead. So what is it, three crack grenades? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was about so, to roll that, but... Okay. So, you see them explode, and then the same thing that happened before, you see the projectile, oh, the shrapnel that come from that, blast inward. Um, inward? Inward from the point of origin, where the grenade, the grenade explodes outwards... So you see the explosion come out maybe six inches, stop, and then come inward. Oh no. And times the damage by all that. Multiply times by thirty four. Yes. Well I'm fucking dead. Jeez, Your hand's dead. dead. Your hand's dead. It's a crack grenade, right? Yeah. 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 If the uh, explosion only goes out six inches and then focuses on a point. So that destroyed both my hands, then? I mean, that's what we wanted to do, so, like, it's all good. Yeah. Your, yeah. your hand's gone, that, that was the That was the intention, right? To remove your hands? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So your hand is effectively gone. Which one? Is or both? still stuck both. to the statue? They killed so, both my hands, Boko. I would imagine it did. Destroy I'm both. sure you put on what hand did you put it on? I'm sure you you have you pulled both hands out and you see them the the stone encase it so I'm assuming you dropped it or the stone meaning your hands right you know, Mug? yeah both hands okay so mm -hmm. you lost both your hands then all right are we and still then, stuck as far as you can tell you're still attached to the statue you just see a very uh, your hands are definitely no longer there you see a very beautiful assortment of stone and blood intermingled and it looks like a very interesting pattern uh-huh like it frozen in time but your hands are visibly gone but am i still attached to this statue yes oh god it, this, it just made a bigger stone thing like i said it was an intricate stone and blood made a explosive like weird pattern 
And it's still connected to that statue. Uh, this isn't good. Hmm. The only... So, our only option is to de deal with that statue in the middle. Then. Yep. So, are there 14 stones circling the statue? Did I count them right? I think so, yeah. There's seven on one side, seven on the other. The other ones seem to have receptacles for stones to go into. Okay. So are uh, you, so you're observing, you're having your bird observe what, what's on the top of these stones? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it sees a pattern, sort of, emerge. It has line, straight, line, straight. On the on the outside here, and then the other other three can't read. So not line line straight straight, but line straight line straight. Yep. Okay. But each of these stones has a receptacle for another stone. That's correct. Is there an equal number of... Uh... Yeah. I imagine I... the other three... Well, I mean, I imagine the other three would probably just be circle, circle, circle. Yep. Maybe. So I'm thinking I'd have to pick up a stone and put it on the other stone. But i got to find the pattern and the order. Yeah, it gave you the it gave you the pattern for the first sequence, and then the last three it, it can't read them. So line straight, line straight is what it sees on the tops of these ones. So I'll draw that. See, so see that I'll do it in. Let's see this. So yeah, line and then straight line. Or just do a straight lot. I'm about to do that. Boop. That's you see the other ones. The other three, you can't distinguish them. Undistinguishable. So which one are you picking up first? I'm going to pick up this one. OK. I uh, suggest your raven pick up rocks, if you can. Uh, uh, how large are these rocks? It's going to take both your both of your hands to pick this thing up. It's a fairly large boulder. OK, yeah, so it's not going to do, do anything. All right, so I pick up the rock. OK, yeah, audible click. I move over. Okay. Uh, agility check. You just triggered a trap from right there. Minus 30. Act. Let me do something. Oh. Okay, so since yeah, bro, oh, come on. What's the what's are you doing? Fake points here? Uh, yeah, fill out every single one of them. Okay, I, so I can have one of mine. Well, I was gonna before you spend all these fake points, I was gonna tell you, so you don't okay. need to spend those other ones, because uh, I rolled for this particular trap for you. Uh, you are going to be thrown back with that rock. And throw you back. Ten meters from your current position. Uh, which way? Uh, hold up. That way. Away from the trap. And in its place, that rock of yours is in the center of that trap now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. In fact, I'll move that rock Boop. in there. Uh, were you uh, uh, notified about the puzzle with the clicks at the entrance of the cave and how that worked? Nope. Oh. Basically, when we picked up the rocks, uh, apparently they had a sequence uh, that they followed. So by picking up a rock and clicking, that means you picked up the right rock in the right sequence. So this is going to be the first type of uh, picture on the rock. It should be the first in the sequence. What would you have to do with the rock? Are you just picking it up and moving it off the, the sensor? Uh, this is a It was a two-part puzzle, the top one. Yeah. The first part was pick up the rocks in the right order. The second part was put the right rock in the right place. Yep, and in a separate up. location entirely. And you pick okay. up the right rock. But all of them had to be picked up in the right order first. Yep, there were only three. R right, but I'm saying, yes, they all had to be picked up first and then placed in the uh, the right location. No, no, you had to pick them all up first, and then a single one had to be put in the right location later. Okay, it was a two part puzzle. It, that was was a, it was still a they had to be picked up first. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Well, uh, I surmise that I picked up the uh, this one correctly then. Uh, you did. I have a little word pad of what this puzzle is too. He did. So I just got to find her out the second correct one, which, since both of these fucking rocks are now inside of a giant force field, it's not <laughs> going to be them. <clears throat> so, could you one of these? Did you want me to tell you what the bird saw? Just, oh, this just one. A... Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, so the the sequence the bird saw it on on this side is, and in fact, it's right there. I actually put it down. So, uh, line line, or you know, actually, it's line line straight straight. So this one is uh, line straight, line straight, line straight. So it sees this sequence here. Yeah. Okay. Well, if he's giving you a hint, it's that one, then that one to pick up. Right, but I was moving to this one, and which was a straight, and it screamed at me. So it might not be. It could be another line because if this. No, 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 you you actually tripped a uh, a, a trap. That's completely separate. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. It's one of those death traps that you guys have been running into. The one I'm trapped in. Right. Sweet. Then I'll go to the other one then. Uh, okay. Agility check. Yep. There's also a trap there too. Minus 20? Uh, yeah. Uh, minus 30. Oh, worse. Okay. Made it. Sweet. All right, I pick this one up. You pick it up just in time before the force field comes down. Sweet. Or, er, wrong color. Oh, is this one also a uh, blue force field, or is it... It's the same force field, same blue. It's all the same colors. Sorry. Okay, we said there's three colors. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oddly enough, the one I'm trapped in is supposed to be reversed. I'm supposed to be blue, and the ones on the outside are supposed to be red. Yes. Or they okay. turn. They were blue, and they turned red. So let me just let me just let me correct this so we know what's going on. Gotcha. So these are red, angry ones, and moth is in a a blue one, and this is also blue. Blue and blue. Okay, I guess I will go back over here. Did and that he heard rock a, click? He heard a click. Yeah. Okay. So, so far it's line dash. So I'm hoping it's line and dash again. Okay. 
So I'm going to pick this one up. You hear a click as well. Sweet. However, now there are no more uh, dashes available. So you guys are doing something, right? There's your rocks here. I mean, the one on the bottom has a huge dash. Uh, yeah, that one. I mean, they're all the same symbology, but so. All right, I guess I will tentatively step to this one. So you're gonna which one are you gonna play? You're gonna put that one down first. Uh, you want to fate point this? That way, that way you're. I don't. You don't brick yourself. Well, I've picked three up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, sequence yeah. is correct. Uh, what you're about to do, because your character is coming to, what, this one right here, the second one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you want a fate point and reevaluate your decision? Uh, I spent all my fate points. Okay, I'll give him one. All right. Oh, sure. It is. Your one character. Of them is spent. <laughs> okay. So that's, the, that's incorrect. Okay. Just that'd be a good hint. So, uh, so the second, starting with the second one, is incorrect. So that's this one here. So the thick dash and you got, like, you got um, this one. Hold on, you, you see this one right here? This. Yeah, I see. Okay. okay, cool. So we had a thick dash and like a line. Uh, it's just they're all they're all lines. That's just a bad artist. Okay. Okay. They're all lines. I like. All right. Yeah. Here, I'll just copy this over so you guys don't get confused by the sequence. Make one vertical. That's the sequence. Boop. 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 So which one are you placing down first? Well, I mean, I guess I'll place down one of the dash ones. Okay. Or that line one, yeah. Okay. Uh, you see that the eye moves. And as it moves, you guys are now freed, and that traps, all the traps in that area turn off. I kind of st still kind of trying to pull myself away from Vialage to kind of fall down on my back from the unexpected uh, gravity coming right, back. Don't go too far back because there's molten rock behind you. And yeah. Rukatil, you no, no longer have hands. Thank yep. God. You're yep. gone. But am, uh, I, am I still... Did they turn to stone or are they gone? They're... they're all that... Well, he exploded them, but uh, the stone disappeared. Like, it just phased away as soon as this thing looked away. Wait. So, does he still have the arms of his armor, but not his body? Because that would just be hilarious. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no they're, they're gone. His hands and his armor, where his hands were, are destroyed. And okay. he's now bleeding out of his hands. There's How much eight. of his hands are gone, by the way? All of them. He took all that damage times 34. There's nothing left. So, like, the whole arm, like, the whole and. shoulder. No, no, no. no. Just, just his hands. How? Just oh, yeah, hands. just the hands to the wrist or halfway yeah, up the, the forearm? Wrist. Or... To the wrist. So, six inches. So, six to inches. The wrist. From... Okay, to the wrist. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. Wait, carterize the wound before you bleed out. I, think I, I present that. I present my bleeding wrists to someone who can cauterize. I point to the pool of magma behind him. Okay, I do, do a do short. Do you do that automatically? 
pretty yeah, sure the suits do that. Yeah, the suits can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So are you gonna stick around here? Um, or we can tell you're gonna be heading back to base camp now. So we disarmed all the traps. Is that what happened? No. As the eye looked away, those traps just disappeared. I ah. thought they weren't there. Does that include these two? Yeah, those are gone. What about There's these? still pools of that. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to keep continue. Mind. Okay, I was, I was going to say, keep in mind, one of our guys here is missing an arm, but he's still going. Yeah, but I'm Just missing both guy. my hands, so I don't. And have... <laughs> you still have feet. And a I, face. Yeah, yes. And a head yeah. that I can think with and a pair of eyes. Yeah, I'm still coming yeah. with you guys. Yeah, plenty of other things you can use to touch other objects with. No, I've learned my lesson. I'm not touching anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are lucky because for a moment I was, after getting both my arms stuck, I was considering using both my feet to... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, that would have been bad. Okay. Hey. Hey, now what are you doing? I'm just going with uh, everyone else. Being <clears throat> uh, uh, set of eyes. After the north has uh, been freed up. Uh, potentially. So does the uh, okay? So the okay, it stays there. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe you should send down your cyber raven to scout up ahead. Yeah, hold up. Let me do some things. Cyber Eagle, I choose you. Kaka. Oh, he's got to table some stuff. Is that on the lighting level? What level is this on? Interesting. Oh, it's the map level, isn't it? Oh, well. I will just mark on the GM level what's the table. Give me a second. Do -do -do. Boop. I don't want to be unfair about this. That's disabled. That's disabled. And that's disabled. Cool. All right. Go ahead. Do your thing. You there? What thing? What thing? You're moving your character, right? I already did, did my thing on the GM level. I just wanted you to stop. I didn't want to, like, unfairly hit you with anything. Okay, well, I was moving the bird. Okay. Also, I don't have the sight ring on the bird, so I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. I'll quickly not know where it's going. I don't think anybody can see where the bird's doing. Yeah, so like, get... still, you, like it went this uh, way, and then like, it went this way. Just to kind of trace the steps that it took. How about now? I see it. Yes, but it's a very tiny ring of sight. Yeah. No, a giant con conical okay. eye laser. <laughs> it's scanning well, the room. No, but that's where it's looking at the green line where it, that's where it's currently looking at. Yes. Yeah. Those were the traps before. There. So one can assume the traps are there now. Okay. Much, Much better. better, yes. Oh, hold on. Uh, wait. No, this is the path it took. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh I get it. Okay. Uh, agility modifier. Minus 60 on this one for this poor guy. All right, I failed. For the bird? Yeah, I don't have a, a, an agility of 53. It failed. It failed. Oh, it is your bird, so I'll give it some bonus. So minus 30. Yep, it failed. Hey, okay, you're going to fate point this guy? You're going to let what happens, happens. 
Don't have any fate points. I can okay. give you a fate point if you want. Uh, I suggest we I save to... them for ourselves. You can see I need to roll a twenty-three on it, so I'm just I'm just saying it's there. Okay. Eh. Can rebuild a cyber <laughs> bird. You just see in your mind or however you communicate this thing, just a brilliant flash of white and lose connection. Ah, yes. The telepathy with the bird. Or whatever, AKA however you take it. The augmentation, the Wi-Fi signal. The camera. Yeah, there you go. But you just see, it just sees a brilliant flash of white light and you know it's destroyed. Wouldn't it be a skull probe and not a bird? It would be a skull probe. Specifically bird. a cyber eagle. Ah, I see. Yeah, which is in the uh, the book. It's not just a random AI generated thing, which it was, but there are cyber eagles in the book. Yep. Anyways, so bird go bye bye. Boop. Well, we know it's this way, or at least most of this area is safe. But we didn't see anything up there, though. True, but we can walk around the thing. Maybe that's what's safe. I don't know. Possible. Possible. I can also... Hmm. I could attempt what we attempted with Brisora just a, month, like, a few minutes ago and just fly above the ground, hover above the ground, and scout ahead. Well, the bird was also flying above the ground. I have more maneuverability than a bird. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dude, you learned this lesson last session, though? Your character's just refusing to learn? Or he still thinks that? False false narrative? Uh, he what, just, does the traps don't he, go off if we hit, touch the ground? If we're not touching the ground? Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, it's not I that they that. don't go off. But uh, actually, do it. Does he still believe that? Uh, yeah. I don't remember if he was proven wrong or not. You, you guys were. You guys were both holding Tesseract's character, one on the feet, one on the hands. You guys had to move out of the way to not get yeeted by that yep. shield. Yep. That's exactly yeah, I what happened. Tesseract because yeah. I think he dropped something on the ground and it triggered the trap. AFK for a minute. My bird's making a lot of noise. Yeah, but the reasoning here is uh, I will have more, Karnoff will have more time to react if it's coming from the ground. He'll have like a, a few milliseconds more of time to spot it coming. And like he has greater maneuverability in air than on ground. Okay. All right. So he's just going to step on this line where the, 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 what, the, the path that Bird took, which is just going to trace it. Uh, here, and so uh, I see no evidence of where this bird was. No evidence whatsoever. Okay, you don't even see the other traps that you saw that were triggered before. You don't see that type of thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still hovering, by the way. Uh, okay. Let's see. I can I can do that for a minute, by the way. So if if that counts at all, uh, then I will have to drop down. Mm. I will go north from this intersection. Okay. Okay. There's nothing here. Okay. Nope. That's the end about. of the map. Uh, there's nothing here. Yep. I trace my flight back, and I just go down. The same amount. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. I travel bottom to the bottom right. The same amount. Okay. All right. Nothing happens. Uh, what do I see? Is that like a, a wall? Or just that, a wall. Just a cave it's wall. Just a wall. Okay. These are just rocks in, in, on to the left of me. That's correct. All right. Uh, so it's just a small uh, cave, cave room. Yep. Where, where nothing is inside of it. All right. You see nothing of importance in here, yeah? Uh, awareness check to see to spot anything noteworthy. Sure. 
Uh, you see nothing noteworthy here. Oh, right. You don't, even, the, you don't even see those ground disturbances of the other traps. If there were any, right. that bird was. Then I just trace my flight back. Oh, God damn it! And I return. Oh, please. I try, I'm trying to select my token, but I just select the lines I made. Yep. And I just return to the group. Sweet. Nothing of importance there. Or interest. <laughs> well, should we what try solving this uh, puzzle then? Whatever it is we need, <sighs> the maybe of importance is going to be likely at the bottom. South. At the south, uh, and to do to disable the traps, we'll probably have to place the rock somewhere on the northern side. I would imagine right over here, or even over here. There is no rocks that have that thing to place, except for those purple rock purple symbols I have are. That's the only place to place these rocks at. Or we take one of the dot dash ones and just start placing them in a line. So one dot dash like on this one, and then another dash one on this one, and then the other dot dash one over here to just start turning it in the other direction. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, then I guess I pick this rock up. Okay, this one up here. Uh, it is pretty big compared to you. You gotta do a strength check to pick this thing up. Or have a space marine do it. I would pick it up, but I'm severely lacking hands at the moment. Are you going to have forearms? You can carry it on your forearms. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, I try and scoop it hitting... up with my forearms. <laughs> it slides out and you reel in pain. Ah! Uh... <laughs> are you going are you, are you to. Is your character going to head back to base camp or something? Or are you going to chill? No, here I'm continuing. Group? I'm continuing with the group because I have. You I have a functioning brain and a pair, well, somewhat, and a pair of eyes and a radio. Um, yeah, uh, Heraclitus, you just walked up here. You did not teleport here. Correct. You also can't okay. use warp powers in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, can st we have some time before the ship is in orbit. Yep. So you, pick uh, up the rock, you pick up the rock, you struggle, but you pick it up, uh, Moth, with all your strength. I did, 2.9. Yep, and then uh, you're going to walk it to the next area? Did it click? Uh, no audible click this time. Then I put it back. Okay. Well, there's the other one that was a dot, dash, dot. That, like, Thomas erased, but it, there was another one. Oh, I, I didn't erase it. I moved it down. You put it down. I, I physically put where you put it at. No. Oh. Okay. So one of them should have two dots around it. Yeah, uh, this one does. It's just hard to yeah, yeah. Considering they're different. There you go. Drawings, there you go. It's hard to uh, move them all at the same time. All right, then I go and pick up this one. Okay. And I'll place it on this one. Okay, and as you do that, the eye moves. And rotates. Sweet. And then I pick up the other line one and place it on this one. Okay. I move and rotates. I kind of want to pick up this one and put it on this one, even if it didn't click. I feel like it's fine. Uh, you... Hold on, before you do that, can I walk over here and look at these three circle rocks? Go for it. Made of rock. Last time I placed a rock in the modified. wrong position, uh, I you blew lost my arm off. off. Yeah. Any modifier to look at these rocks? Uh, plus twenty.
You see it has the same circle symbol as the ones outside. All three of them? Yeah, all three. So you're going to place the other rock there, to Yomug? I still want to because that eye is still looking completely down this corridor. So we need it to not do that. So even though it doesn't click, there's literally no other rock to place on that one. So okay. yeah, I'm going to. We can just probably do the other way around, probably. Okay. So well, no, these were the only ones that you could place oh, rocks onto. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, yeah. I can probably wrote... surmise I... that these are the same circle symbols as the top three. But are they? So we could surmise that, but it's also looking at not down the corridor anymore. So we should be fine. Unless there's something further ahead that we need to move it again for. Can I look at these three other ones and uh, see what's on them? The the rocks again? Or the, the other ones, these ones. It looks indistinguishable. It looks very worn. You're unsure looking at them. It's like that bird was telling uh, Yamug's character. Well, I guess I can move forward again. Okay. Which way are you going? Uh, has it been like a minute since uh, I came back and we did this whole puzzle? Yeah. Can we? Okay. So my jump pack is recharged. Hold up. Let me it. let me do some things. So. All right. Okay. All right. You can go. All right. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, make it persistent so I know where it looks is looking toward? Actually, I think I can do it myself. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, sure. Thank well, I, that's why I drew the blue line. Yeah. No, it's just, I know the easy. barrier. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm just way. assuming it's 45 degrees. It could be wider. Yeah. No, that's that's actually perfect. Okay, I moved this this all the way all the way to that point. I flew up and I hovered over to that point. What well, point? Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. I continue my way down here. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. Yep. I'm going to do the same again. Okay. Right. And as you come here, doing a daily check, minus 60. Okay. So where I'm standing. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I get this bonus. Uh... Okay, yeah, all right. Um, dodge, and you said minus 60? Yep. So that's going to be minus 10. Okay. I dodge. You Oof. dodge out of the way, and you just see a flash of white. Just go from the ceiling down to the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, would... Intense flash of white. You've what, seen what this somewhere before. It? Could I surmise the radius of it? No. Nope. Okay. I just you, saw the you, flash you, of light. You could tell it was fairly large. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to delete I'll put that. You were right there. Like this, yes. Yep, you were right there. So you know something, at least right there, where you jumped out of the way, because something tingled, you're like, shit! Mm -hmm. Sixth sense, if you call it, if you will, but it was pretty fast. If not for your superhuman ability, you would have been surely perished. Yeah, so these are the walls, uh, as well, I presume, right? Mm. All around me. Uh, are these the w walls as well? 
It looks mm-hmm. like this and this are staircases. You see a yeah. staircase, you see two staircases. Oh, Bill says staircases. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna gonna fly around, kind of fly back in okay. a small diagonal line. Uh and I'm gonna go like this to this point. Okay. Uh, uh, as you come around, do another agility check. Because no. li- that, that line is literally just on the edge. Okay. Minus 60. Mm. Dodged. Yep. That's safe. Mm-hmm. I'll place it where, right, right where the intersection was. It's literally right there. You just touched where the trigger zone is. All right. I guess uh, you surmise where it came from. You saw another flash of white. Moth, as you're looking at it, all you saw, flash of white. Very bad. That's all you know. <laughs> from where I'm like hovering at the moment, I'm going to go back like this. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. All right. Good. That's a safe route. I go to the end of that, and I do another straight line. Okay. Go for it. Uh, how much time has passed, by the way? Uh, you guys spent about 30 minutes here. Uh, how much time has passed since I began this path, this this traveling? Because like I can only fly for about a minute. Uh. Doing all that, probably about a minute where you landed just now. All right, then I just stand, I, I land and I stand here. I don't move. Okay. I, like, I signal the team that this, this way is clear. Hmm. Is that grass? You look into it, it seems to be dirt, crystals. Uh, seems to be a glowing area of some sort. That's what you see. Eric, ladies, do not move that way. I beg you. I can't move that way. Just not yet. No, I mean, I physically can't move down that way. Oh. Oh, wait, really? Yes. Oh, it's another one of the invisible barriers. That's correct, yes. I attempt to touch it. Wait, who is this? Who who is this? Oh, my God. Rook at you. Did you just. He's, uh, my guy! He did. Agility. Are you. Are, uh, we, are, are, what? are, are you following the, the same path I, I took? Yeah. Okay, cool. I was making sure. Because, like, you're literally in the middle of the death. Oh, okay. That's why I was like. Uh, that's why I asked. Are you following the path or are you just going places? <laughs> no, I'm following. I'm okay, following. cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm about to say, because that would have been. That would have been uh, pretty bad news bears for you. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, I, I oh yeah, well... The staircase to the right. Uh, Boko, how about you catch these hands? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I report to the team that there is also a second staircase to the right that we can take. Um... Well, it looks like there's oh, a giant circle of a trap that we can go around. Yeah, I will wait long enough for my jump pack to cool down, to recharge. And I begin my flight once again. And so, did we go down the stairs over here? Can't. Or no? Invisible oh, barrier. Cannot. Ah. Invisible barrier. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, does anything happen? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna travel over here. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. That's I'm gonna correct. travel uh, along the edge here. Okay. Keep in mind that that distance for the eye thing was arbitrary. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to travel here. Okay, nothing happens. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, is that lava? I'm gonna. You see glowing. You see the floor is glowing, and it would be lava esque. 
Uh, yep, seems like lava to me. I travel over here. Okay. And I reach the end of the stairs. And that's where I stop. Sweet. Oh, come on. Uh, my beautiful lines. There you go. Want me to scout over the lava field? So, uh, can I do logic and like, hold on. I don't, mm. I pick up a nearby rock and toss it into the lava. No, it's so, uh, would my character deduce that the eye controls the traps? Where it's looking at? Yeah. Kind of, um, okay. So you toss the rock into the, what the quote unquote looks like a lava field. You see it just kind of scatter, or hit the, hit the floor and just kind of like, Skip. Stay there. As if it was a solid floor. So you're skipping rocks across lava. A floor. Oh. That looks like lava esque. It's glowing rocks and whatnot. It looks kinda like it's very eerie. The floor is moving. Slightly. Does the rock Does turn the rock red move? hot? Rock just sits there like if it was on a solid floor. Does it turn red hot? Doesn't do anything. Ah. Is heat emanating from the floor? Uh, are you touching it? Are you just getting near it? I'm just, you, I'm standing on the stair, like near the floor. Is it? You're, is it I mean, you're in a sealed hermetic suit. There's no way you could deduce if it's hot or not per se. I have but... my arm that's like open. That's uh, true. I imagine there's an environmental temperature sensor and also on the that, exterior yes. of the suit as well. Yeah, yeah. You checking temperatures? Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. ambient temperature in the entire room. Yeah, sure. So it's it's hot, or is it not hot? A ambient it's means not. Uh, not hot. It's, it's oh, ambient. Oh, you use oh, ambient. Right. All right, right, right. The ambient temperature is nominal. Yeah. I suggest that we attempt to turn the eye away from this direction in case it may help us. Although that didn't really help us going to the left side as... Uh, there were still dangerous traps in, in that way. I say uh, one small step for the Emperor, one giant leap for uh, the Imperium. Unless the eye turns off the barrier on the staircase. And it might. It, really, it, it might, yes. But so which is the safer one to walk on? Weird glowy rock floor or gemstone plant floor? That's one looks safe, one, but that doesn't one mean of it a, is. I think one of us should go back and stay near the statue. Very well then, since I have working arms, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Just moving back to the statue. Okay. In case they need me to move rocks around. Make seven agility checks on the way. All at negative 90. Nope. Well, nope. <laughs> so. Alright. Um... I guess hmm. I suggest one of you goes back to the barrier and check that one out. Uh, Before we I... do that, we should go back to the middle of the staircase so we don't get trapped. Good idea. I trace my path back. Where are you, where are you guys being set up at? Over here seems like a good choice. Over here. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, place the rocks in the original position, brother. Very well. well. We don't even know if we can move the eye position anymore. We don't know if we can move it backwards, I mean. We can try. Hey, hey. hey walk over. To which rock? To this one. Okay. Pick up the one on top. Sweet. And then I just set it down in front of that. Then I go, am I picking them all up? Uh, just the next one, just this one. All right, then I go and 
pick up the next one. Good luck down there. And this All is right. where I murdered my team. I move closer to the barrier. Uh, <clears throat> I breathe out and I go towards the barrier. Hey, move. Okay, no, okay, it's it's gone. Uh, I'm just walking right now. I'm just walking down the stairs, uh, and I end at the end of the stairs. I I stop at the end of the stairs. <clears throat> I turn on my jump pack once again. I hover into the air and I continue going Ooh, in this there's direction. There's a glow coming from over there. Okay. Does anything happen? Nope. I move this direction. There's a glowing. Uh, you see like a pedestal, yeah, you see like a pedestal altar type thing. Looks oh, like it's there's... actually blue or white, should I say? Yeah, okay. uh as you land there, go ahead and do a agility check. Minus sixty. You succeed and you see what looks to be like uh roots and rocks and all that kind of intertangle. And I will Draw it out. I'll make it green this time. You see, this is what you see. So, like, the roots sprang out from the ground and attempt, attempt to grab me where I was. Yeah, that's correct. Like, okay. like, you see rocks and roots and whatnot. And, like, uh, where you were, it constricted. You were uh, just fast enough to get out of that thing. I dodge in this direction. Okay. Uh, I report that to the team. Oh. I also, in that case, move in Do this direction. Do an agility check. Uh, okay. Uh, at which point? I'd like it. Which... Uh, okay. section does it happen oh it's you just see the root come from that original trap oh 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 okay uh i full throttle fly back the way i came okay back to the way back to the stairs and i order everyone to go back Do the roots continue growing, or do they? Nope. We just see right there. Mm -hmm. It's like rocks and root. That's what you saw. Crystal type of thing. And it dissipates as soon as you leave the room. The roots dissipate. Yep, completely dissipate. You don't see them anymore. All right. I land on the stair, and I let my... Overheat a jump pack, cool down. So, what do we think of this? Well, if there's a similar thing in the other room, maybe we have to hit them both at the same time? Possibly. I'll go check it out. And I trace my steps back. Uh, to the other stairway. I presume there's a barrier here now at the stairway. Uh, uh, keep moving. You find out. Okay, I just keep following. Uh, do oh, do yep. an agility check. Do an agility check too as soon as you get near there. Minus 60. Oh boy. Uh, this time it's going to be rough because I'm just walking. Uh, let's see. I only get a plus 20. Yeah. Uh, so minus 40. I succeed. Yep. You dodge backwards and you see the stairs sort of 
not become stairs, it's come like a slide into that room. Oh, I get uh, it. Now the floor really is lava. The floor it really is lava, yeah. All right. I report that to my team. The floor really is lava. Yeah. Brisora, how well can you fly? Forever. Forever and ever. Uh, how well are you able to dodge things mid-air? That's a good question. So the things turned into okay. Uh, are they is this still a slide or do they did they go back to being stairs? When you, as soon as you left that area, it turned back, back into stairs. And it was instantaneous oh. too. It wasn't like a drop thing. It's just like it was. Mm, you were just fast enough. Boop. Yeah, everything phases. If you noticed. Yes, it really does. And Heracles, what are you doing this time? Are you the rock man now? Uh, I mean, I came back down just to, you know, join people, take a look at stuff. Mostly I could see what was happening. Mm -hmm. Virlo, what do you think of this? Aren't we gonna have to hit both the things at once? That was just a thought. We might not actually have to do that. For all we know, the green room is just a red herring. We don't go in there at all. All right. Uh, I turn on my jump pack once again, and I float down the stairs. Oh, Wait. oh! I cannot. There's a barrier. Yeah. Uh, and I, I go back up to the rocks, and I... Uh, a, a agility yeah. check as soon as you start flying over there as well. Trigger, okay. Trigger the trap again. But I'm floating. Did, yeah, I if know. he's flying, does he need to make the agility check to not step on the floor? To... No, 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 he does. I dodge away. Yeah, you feel force trying to pull you in, and you just pull Wait, out. Wait, so the the first time I also f f like felt the force pulling me in. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, the floor did this thing again, and you feel something pulling you in. Use the force. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I I come back down. I land on the ground, and I wait for Heracles to. Uh, place the rocks back. All right, then I go and. Yep, I'll just move the eye. Yeah, place place the rocks back in the position we had them before. All right, and I fly up. Hey, give me one second. Got to move stuff around. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Actually, no, I just walk. I just walk this path without flying up. Okay. Nothing happens. And, and at the bottom of the stairs, I do fly up. And I'm going to move straight ahead. Okay. And as you get to here, do an agility check. Right there. Minus 60. Yep. Succeeded. Dodge it. And then. handed cool okay hold on let me you just... see that you see that floor liquefy and you see an explosive what appears to be a lava bubble from the floor but you feel no heat it's no heat okay uh i continue flying oh oops i continue flying that way Minus 60, and it is, oops, it's going to be right here. I dodge away. Yep, same thing happens. Mm. It says that the floor exploded in lava. There's no visible heat, 
you just see the floor, and then it settles back down into the floor itself. I continue flying in this direction. Minus 60 on your agility check as soon as you get halfway. I mean, that way seems to be the wrong way, but at the same time, there seems to be something. There's. Oh, that's a wall, actually. Hmm. In that case, the moment I kind of see this pattern, I will turn back from where I'm s hovering and go to the stairs. Okay. Uh, as soon as you get... Hold up. As soon as you get there, mm -hmm. go ahead and do minus 60. Dodge check. Uh, you want to fade yeah, point this? Let me see if I have any talents which allow me to re roll that. Um... <laughs> let me see, let me see. Can I just make another dodge check? Because like I have a step aside talent which gives me like two two dodges per round. Sure. Actually, no, this is it's only against different attacks. I cannot do that. I think. No. Um, yeah, so I cannot do that. Um, Anyone have a fate point to give them? No, yeah, I don't have a fate point. Uh, I have uh, a fate point. I'm just debating. Okay. Uh, dodge check. I succeed. Hey, cool. So from where I'm standing, I fly over here. Yep. And I land and I turn off my jetpack once again. And I report to my team that the lava zone is very trap heavy. Yep. And after this, after we complete this area, I'll I'll show you the overlay too, so you see <laughs> what everything looks like. Uh, I'm just gonna draw my maybe path. south. If we complete this area. Yeah. yeah. You would not have liked what just happened had you got hit by that. Dead? Yeah. Just like everything else? Yeah. I'm trying to be fair. Extremely fair. You get your other arm blown off. Uh, well, no. Hard. No, no. He wouldn't have survived that had he got, got stuck into this. I am at my maximum of wounds, by the way. I'm at, like, what is it? Eight critical damage, yeah. Yep. So you guys can continue further into the death cave or head back to camp. Having gained literally nothing and only lost arms. <laughs> yes. So you guys are about you guys are about yeah, you guys are about forty five minutes in out of the five hours. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you if you guys push forward or not. Uh, as you have mentioned, the fleet was like the alien fleet. Was it's it? A, uh, it was... It's a mothership. It's actually yeah, the mothership. A, it's a fairly large invasion vessel coming in this general direction. Yeah, it's coming in this general direction. Possibly for this specific location, or, although we don't really know for sure. That's true. Uh, so it is best that we gather as much into as possible before they arrive. Possibly here. Oh, you guys uh, definitely know that it's coming in your general direction, so, so that, that you do know on radar. I like the idea of trying to hit both the altars at once. We don't even know if there is a second altar. We don't even oh. know if we need to do that. Like, what would be the point? No, I don't know. Exactly. We don't even know if we can do that. Open we the don't loot know room. what happens when the eye uh, shifts when somebody's past the barrier. But if the lava is any indication, uh, it'll slurp you down into the lava if you're on this side. And I mm -hmm. imagine if you're on the other side, you get overcome by roots. Most likely. So I don't think we can hit them both at the uh, same time at any rate. I would try to explore more of this area because there seems to be a 
passage Se yeah. in this direction. Uh, Maybe, I I... unless it's just there's nothing there and the lava's just to screw with you. We are exploring right now, so that's our only option forward. All right, so what path are you taking? Uh, I've recharged, I hover up again, and I continue this way. Okay, and as soon as you get right there, go ahead and do an agility check, minus 60. It really is just... You You are hitting all the traps. You are literally hitting... It's not a trap wall, but you are hitting all the traps. There's small little traps I set in this setup, so, and you're hitting every single one. Okay. I dodged a bit. You did? Here. Yeah. Yeah. What's the radius on that trap that I just hit? Well, you see a bubble. I'm just showing you where the where the okay. it's okay. splattered out, and then it goes back to the floor, and then it becomes mm -hmm. a, like a solid, smooth surface again that kind of glows. Then I uh, go this way to go back to the original path I took. You're still going above the red line, I imagine. Uh, above the red line, yeah. It's just okay. Go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I was trying to be lenient there. So I'm I'll, I'll try to, like... No, 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 I got this. I got you. Sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. Nothing happens. Like, I just, to make sure, then I fly back, and I continue forward to the end of that line. Okay. Nothing happens where, where you're at. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... Here. And go ahead, minus 60. Uh, oh. uh, at the end of the, at the end of that line, go ahead, actually yeah. hold up. It's gonna be right here actually. So right about there. Here, trigger okay. it. Yeah, right about there you trigger it. Uh minus yep. I dodge to the right, or, well, my left. Uh, oh, okay, I dodge it, like, here. -ish. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying outside the zone, I get it. I fly around like this. Okay, and then as soon as you get about, about halfway, minus 60. Right oh, about there. come on. <laughs> you're, you're literally hitting all these traps. Yes, it is this trap heavy. Okay, so you dodge out. Which way are you going? Uh, I'm going like this way. Kind of back. Trying to kind of go back. All right. Is there a passage between these two, or is it not possible? Your character, they... character discerns there's possibly a small passageway. You're uncertain. Uh -oh. You just saw the explosion. And those are the two patterns you saw. All right, I'm going to do it. Hold on. Okay, this. All right. I'm just going to go back. And I'm just going to retrace my steps and go back to recharging my jump back. Okay. And Eric Clay is worried doing this whole time. You're just watching him intensely. I'm waiting to move the rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A rock, rock brother. Man. Yeah. Oh, you need to move the rock. Okay. No, 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 no. wait, no, wait, oh, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Abort. All right. Abort. <laughs> All right. So, okay. What are you doing now? I recharge my jump pack because, like, I presume I'm just trying to not make these expeditions long so that I have so, enough time a question. to go fly back. Yes. Those lava bubbles from the floor, they're from they're... the floor, right? They're bursting upwards. Had he How not high? Pretty damn high. About this is the ceiling. ceiling high? Yes. Are they hitting the ceiling? No. But it's high enough where it's going to get him. Like, it looks unnatural. Uh, like an unnatural lava explosion what's, through the floor. Yeah, what's the, what's the height? So the to geysers, the not bubbles. You're, you're looking up. Maybe a 20 meter cavern. Hmm. Floor My up. max height is 12 meters. Yeah. So that thing went way higher than that. Anyways, it didn't hit the ceiling, but you could tell that whatever this is, is unnatural. It's not lava lava. You see a big splurt. I see. Yep. Like I as if lava were to explode, so. 
I fly up, I go here, I go here, and I'm gonna go, please, here. Okay. Uh, uh. Nothing happens. There you go, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go along the wall. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, I'm gonna go along the wall. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm gonna go along the wall. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, yeah, it seems to be empty so far. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Nothing happens. I see something over here, but it's not just really cavern, clear. just rocks. Oh, okay. I just yeah. follow the. I just stick to the wall. Okay. As soon as you get right, hold up. As soon as you get right there, go to Jelly Mountain minus sixty. I dodge. Okay. I'm gonna dodge over here. You're still in the. Oh, I'm gonna dodge over here. Yes. Uh, so over here. Okay. Seeing that, I retrace off my steps and I just go back to the stairs. Okay. And I report that to the team. Oh, what'd you what'd you see? Because none of us could see back there. There was basically an open, empty area, and there's a small tunnel leading to the right side. But sticking to the wall seems to be the safest bet, uh, as there seems to be the least amount of traps. And waiting for my cooldown, jump back to cooldown, I continue my cooldown. path. Yep. Okay, you're good along, yeah. All along the green path, you're good. No traps. Yeah. I'm gonna fly around and go and go and hug the other wall. Hey. Nothing happens. This is a cavern wall, right? Yep, big old cavern okay. wall. Uh, I'll hug it and just go along it. Okay. Nothing happens. Go here. Nothing happens. Uh, is this a wall or is this uh, more of a floor? More floor. Seems solid. Okay, that's floor. Okay. Nothing happens. Is this just like a uh, like uh, the same kind of floor or is it just like more it's like the a... same? More or less okay. the same floor you've been seeing throughout. It's a little more darker than uh, than others. All right. That's I'll about it. Like... Okay. Nothing happens. I hug the wall. Yep. Nothing happens. I hug the wall. Yep. Nothing happens. And nothing happens at the end of the pathway. Okay. Nothing happens there. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to touch the ground. And nothing happens. And I'm going to let uh, my jump pack recharge. I just stand here, not moving at all. Just observing the floor and observing like, yeah, the Yeah, you the just ground. see it slightly moving and it looks red and that's about it. Does it feel solid to the touch? Yeah, solid. Mm. Like I said, over the floor. Perfectly smooth. But also yeah. moving, so it's really weird too. Yeah, it seems very alien. Is it moving me as well slightly? No. Okay. Uh, then I hover up and I just continue my patrol, hey. so to speak. Yeah, nothing happens. Here. Okay, and as you get right there, go ahead, roll minus 60. Uh, whoops, minus 60. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay.
There you go. I got him touch here ish. Yeah. Yep, you back up. I'm gonna fly around the corners to the wall. Okay. Nothing happens at the end of that trail. Okay, let me just redraw. Okay. And I'm gonna hug this wall here. As soon as you get right there, go ahead and roll. Minus oh, wait, wait. sorry, can you put me to the correct space again? Right there, minus sixty. All right, minus sixty. So I report to my team that there has been nothing. Uh, uh, did you fail that? Interest. I'm just gonna reroll. Don't worry about it. And there's nothing of interest. It's just an empty cavern, uh, just okay. floor and and more lava traps. There's no orb in here. There's nothing. It's just death. Uh, so I go over Make here. Your... Making it all the way back, I assume. I'm going to stop hovering. I'm just going to walk along the path I took. Yes. Nothing happens, yeah. So I just... Uh, let me... Hop. I was hoping you could come in this room, guys. <laughs> Why, oh, could be so, deaf? So, so glad... Room. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Bob, you said it best. What was it? The floor is lava. The, no, red herring. <laughs> Literally made a red, red yes. herring room. Red oh herring, yeah. my god! <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. I was like, I want to see if they go in there. It would have been better is if you shaped the room like a fish. Yes, it would have been better. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Like a fish head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh yeah. my god! But no, you figured it out. So I'll, I'll I'll let you know that I don't want you to waste your time anymore in that room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. Except for thirty odd instant death checks. Uh, uh get out of there. It would have been right, a lot I'm more. Move you. There you go. All right. Actually, that's actually your number. Actually. Hmm? It would been a lot. Yeah, about thirty. So, I'm assuming you're moving the eye back. Yeah. Once everybody's out of the way. Rock, brother, yeah. move the rock. Moving the rock. Wait, wrong rock. Do you think Axe took best part of stone and perfected it? No. What is that from? Uh. Galactic, maybe. No, it's from uh. It's from Day Nine when he played through the OG Command and Conquer. Okay. Uh. He was taught. Someone in his chat was asking if Starcraft took the best part of uh, Command and Conquer mechanics and perfected it. And he's like, I don't know, man. That's like a caveman asking, do you think Axe took best part of Rock and perfected it? <laughs> Sweet. So you guys are going back right. to the other room? Yeah. Yes, yes, we are. Okay. So, Heracleides, since you guys know the correct room, are you guys going in that room now? As a team, or are you staying up by rock? No, I've moved down now. Okay. They might need my hands. All right, I, I, go, I go to the bathroom real quick. Give me one second. Yeah. Uh, Three hours later. So the reason, so... If that happens, this, someone needs to call the cops. Yes, so this yep. whole temple was built for a reason. It was either to keep something in or, like, worship something, you know, whatever. Uh, the orb seems to be the most protected thing so far, as it required three barriers to get here. Uh, so, it either holds something important, uh, it has some power, or something else that we're not quite sure. Or, about it's a light bulb, and there's more. <laughs> How many space marines does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Get ready. I walk up to the light bulb and I turn it counterclockwise three times. <laughs> I'm going to the upper end of the stairs. I'm just gonna. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, and pop my uh, jump back up, and I'm gonna hug the wall. 
<laughs> I love your new strategy. All right, nothing happens. And nothing happens. It seems to be a good strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just design traps in a random pattern, and however you guys solve the puzzle, I don't care. That's fine. So the next time Boko makes a trap room, he's going to make all of the walls trapped. No, no. You. <laughs> you, do see a, you do see a giant tree that's growing out of the ground and going into the ceiling itself. And you see kind of roots pointed in various directions with crystals growing out of it. We've also already done the dungeon where the walls are traps. That was the demon ship. Yes. <laughs> no, and I... all those traps. Yeah, I don't... Alive. Yeah, I try not to build, can't build counters to all the players. I try to build challenges for you guys. Mm -hmm. so. uh, is this uh, oh, like a, a wall or is this a passage? Passageway, you see. That's a passage. It is a wall. It is a wall. You see. Oh, it's, it's a wall. It's a wall. Okay. You're by. You're by the wall still. So it's a passageway. It goes into a pass. Makes sense. So it's a sharp corner. You see. All right. I'm gonna go hug the wall and like just uh to the point where I can see the rest of the tunnel. I'm not gonna go into the tunnel. So like somewhere around here, I presume. Yeah. Nothing happens. Okay, I see more of that same tree. It's very huge. Okay. Giggity. Uh, I guess if you want, you can follow the green path just to see what's what, like what, what I see, or like what's in the room. Uh, I'm gonna follow this trail. Just hug the wall. No, that is happens. that a is that a lake? Is that water? It looks like water. Yeah, very shallow water, very crystal clear. And, and this is like a like a tree or a bush type of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a bush. Looks un unassuming. Oh, that means we should oh. assume everything about it. Mm -hmm. uh, can I squeeze through here without touching the bush? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Yep. Nothing happens. Uh, what is this like? Or like wooden? Is this wood, or is this just more of a real? Like walls. It's more it? of the wall. It's okay, rock it's more of the wall. Yep. Okay. Mm, yay. And that yuck. Mm, oh, whoops. Yink. And nothing happens. Mm, it's just a giant lake. Oh wait, is this uh, is this another passage or is this just more of a wall? You can see a passageway. It looks very clear. Wherever okay, you can I'm see gonna... past it is what you can see past it. All right, I can see right. past it. There's yeah. something yellow on the other side over here. Mm, you actually have a bigger vision cone than yes. I do. It looks yeah. like it's just a. It looks like kind of like a, a mound of rocks, like mound of rocks gonna... between you and the other side. It's not very tall, so you can actually walk on it. Mm -hmm. I'm can gonna I... finish right, I... exploring this area first. I come up over here, I guess. Okay. Yeah. You're on. You're on it. You're on top of it. And I can't go past it. There seems to be a barrier on top of this. Ill. There's also a. Are you telling me to move the rock? No. I can move what the rock. Is, what is that? Uh, I kind of stops uh, hovering. Oh, what is and that? He just walks. He walks back, hearing that. Where are you guys right now? Okay. See, I see a giant glowing yellow right. something, and a. Why did you cape. follow? Go back. Get back right now. <laughs> Oh, that's a mushroom person. Mushroom. That's a lot mushroom. of weight. Are those castles mushroom. with tentacles? Brisora, I, I order you to go true. back. All right. I duck down. All right. Good. Is Virlo down there? Where's Virlo? No, I'm still at the stairs. So, where's, on the other side of this hill, there's creatures, and they're guarding okay. something. Okay, where's Heraclides? I'm within vision of you. I do not see you. 
You right over My here? vision is not that. Oh, okay. Well, I can see you. Oh, okay. I'm behind the bush. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. My my vision cone. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, it's uh, this. Oh, Ooh, okay. that's small. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. what she said. Uh, mushroom Dude. people. Uh, but or castles? It's hard to tell. They look like they look sort of like suits of stone armor that look like castles that have mushrooms and trees growing out yeah. of them. You see giant statues like they've been there for eons. They're very and towering, so very enormous compared to you guys. But yeah, okay. but if you about touch them, the Dread Knight. if you touch them, Continue you get a I'm going to explore the wrong rest kind of, of the statue. Okay. Yeah, and they're carrying giant like you think they're trees. They could be swords. You're not certain, but it's yeah, they're very big creatures, piercing green eyes staring at you. They also have swords. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are supposed to be green fire torches. The, you know, that's what the token shows. But yeah, it's a giant, giant, giant sword covered in like grassy debris and right. crystals and all. What do I see here? Are these like ferns? Or yeah, what, you see, are these? it's a bush. You see a bush. It's a bush. Okay. Yeah, George another bush, bush like the other one. Gonna yeah. walk around. Uh, like what is this like? Darker green. Uh, is this like a swamp you're, or no? You're just in water. It's like low. It's like crystal clear it's still water. Part of the lake. Pretty oh, clear. The lake. Okay. Yeah. Oh, pretty. oh, that that green. That, that's just grass. Just grass. No, but oh, yeah. this is grass. Okay. Same as the tree should be just above you. I think. I'm gonna hover. I'm gonna start hovering right now, and I'm gonna go forward. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. fuck. Uh, going forward. Nothing happens. Okay, there's a wall. I'm gonna... go. <laughs> I love walls. I love walls. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, nothing uh, happened. Presumably hugging a wall. Yep, nothing happens. Since either there's no traps in here, and they're focused around the orb, and the orb lets down that barrier so we can get past it. Do not let your guard down. Nothing happens. Yeah. Uh, is this where the orb was, or was this the way the tree was? Uh, this, this, uh, the this tree's back up. over here, the orb's still further up. Yeah, it's okay, like grassy. Point. You see grass and rocks and all sorts of things. Yeah, there seems to be a passage down here, right? Or is this like where the cave ends? I, I cave can't ends. quite see. Cave, cave, cave ends. ends here. You just see nothing but a wall of rock. <laughs> I know. I see, uh, I'm still hovering, and I just go behind there. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, hey, nothing, ha nothing, nothing, nothing happens when you go there? Yeah, nothing. Okay. And it's just rocks. You see a wall of rocks going to the ceiling. All right. I drop down I to the ground, and I just like walk back. Okay. Nothing happens. Mm. I walk back to where the where the lake was. Okay. I just like going back the the, the, the route. Uh, Makes sense. Uh, I guess, oh, oh, this is the lake. Okay, yeah, this is the lake. The lake's uh, right here. Uh, yep, and it's very crystal clear water. And even as you step in it, very crystal, and it's like cleaning your armor as you walk into it. Clean uh -oh. to my armor. Is it holy clean, water? Clean, clean, oh, clean, clean. Cleans it. Is it holy water? It's not blessed by the Emperor, it's not holy. What are you talking about? Oh, right. yeah, okay. You don't see any dirt or debris from your armor as you step into it, by the way, if you're stepping in it and whatnot. Does it reverse his aging? Is it the Fountain of Youth? No, uh, so... I mean, if you time... want to see if it has healing properties, dip your arm in it. Yeah, so this whole <laughs> time, I was avoiding the water. I was not stepping into it, if possible. Like, you're jumping over it or, like... You'll be stepping it. in that bottom line, you're stepping all through it. It goes up yeah, to the wall. Yeah, I'm saying before, like, before when I was, like, patrolling. And this time, I'm just gonna dip one of my legs into the water. Just gonna... Yeah, just cleans your armor. You don't even see any dirt or debris as you step in. It's just crystal clear. It's I... probably the cleanest you've ever seen your armor, too. Quick, put your put arm hole in it. You're doing what now? 
No, no, do not give him ideas. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, telling you Dan to put his armhole in there. Uh oh. I'm not doing that. Okay. I mean, uh, if you want to try it, Tess, you can put your hands in there. Alright, so where am I? What's the worst that could happen? You lose part of your forearm? So if you follow the path to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. <laughs> oh. And you see the lake just... here. Ah. There's a path which like intersects the lake, so just follow the path. Yeah. Unless you wanted to experiment with dodge rolls. All right, I walk up to the lake and dip one of my hand holes into it, just one. Okay, so you just see very clean hand now, or very clean stub of a hand. Okay. No blood. I dip my other one in. <laughs> Very clean as well. You see no signs of blood anywhere now. It's the most bathing you've seen in quite some time. So splashy was taking a bath. I, uh, I slowly wade into the water until it's uh, above my head. I... I see what's happening. I like run over and I like grab him by his collar with my remaining hand and I stop him from doing that. Oh. And I like, uh, drag him back to the shore. So I'm, check. I'm up yeah, to my it. I'm up to my neck. No, I don't resist, but I go up to my neck in the water before Your armor uh, is super clean. All right. You just see very like like it's <clears throat> brand new. Very clean, very clean. Uh, you feel very refreshed. Like, oh yeah, it just took an awesome bath. Ah, uh, Harnoff is livid that you did that. Why? We don't know what that substance is. It may have fucking killed you. Oh, sorry, we don't use wares here. We're but space marines. Yeah. But Karnoff, cleanliness is next to emperorliness. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> cleanliness, not. The alien cleanliness, which which borders heresy. And uh, Eric Hayes, what are you doing with this knowledge here? Are you seeing this <coughs> clean, squeaky water clean? I'm watching your friends uh, dip in this clean water. Is there anything we can throw in the water? There's rocks all around you. Find the dirtiest rock you can find and throw it in there. <laughs> Just Bomb the water with grenades. Oh God! <laughs> so what do you do? Yes, you throw, you throw a grenade, and it explodes under the water, and the cleanest shrapnel you've ever seen in your whole life <laughs> comes <Yeah>. out. <laughs> I'm just thinking if we could find something that might, you know, uh, need a cleansing. Uh, hey, how look, about we wait here, for the fermentation for now? Here's a thought. What if the plant only comes at you if you're not clean from the water? Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Quick, submerge your entire head in there and then go towards that plant. I submerge my entire head in there. And that can, wait, no, no, before you go, Karnov stops huh? you. If anyone's going to come to the orb, it's going to be me. Okay. And he has the best agility dodges. Puts you, like, shoves you away with his remaining arm and, like, steps in begrudgingly <laughs> into the water. Like, it becomes super squeaky clean. And, like, sub like, is there a point where it submerges me? Yeah. Okay, Pretty deep. When I, towards the center. Yeah, yeah I want go towards the center. I am completely covered in this water. By the way, if... If, if you're going to go for the orb, we should probably move away from this area specifically. Because this is where there is an invisible barrier. And stuff on the other side of it. Thanks, you. Thank you for no notifying me. And I go all the way back. Ooh, hold on. Oh, what what's going on? Try going through the invisible barrier now that you're clean. Maybe we don't even need the orb. I hover up in the air, and I try to go through the barrier. Okay, go through it. What happens? Nothing happens. Yep, still stuck. Okay. Worth a try. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck in the barrier. Barrier right now. My token is. Yeah, thank you. I drop down, 
and I walk all the way back to the stairs. Okay. Uh, oops. And still covered in this water, I hover up. Wait, you move back, Prisora. Why well, should we? <laughs> the thing stopped here. It can. If I remember extrude. right, it triggered here. Yes, it, it can extrude, so it's like right. be careful. And I move closer, hovering to the orb. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move. Okay. Up to here. Okay, as soon as you get to the edge, go ahead and roll minus 60. Uh, here or there? Right, right, right there, right there, where we were before. As soon as you get right there, minus 60. Four. Dodged. Okay. Uh, I dodge back, and I just move all the way back to the stairs. Okay, and it dissipates. I turn to face Brasora without saying anything. Worth a try. Faster. Hey, actually, uh, you didn't try hugging the wall. You just sort of went towards the orb directly. What happens if you hug the wall here? Just got kind of stops. He, like he's <laughs> like mid step. He just stops, turns around, and angrily like continues walking back. <laughs> Like stomp, 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 okay. and then he hugs the wall. Okay, nothing happens. Uh huh. Oh. And he will continue hugging the wall because there's more to explore here. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, and now he's gonna start hovering. Uh, he's flying just to explore more. Okay, and because nothing happens. More stuff. Nothing happens. Yep. Okay, hugging the wall. Nothing happens. I'm gonna approach the orb. Okay. Nothing yeah. happens. You stand right there. What do I see exactly? It looks like an altar. It looks kind of old, relically. It has a crystal in the center of it. Looks like there's two pillars, with cups on them. Two pillars with cups on them. Correct. Oh, uh, how big are the cups? Uh, human size, I imagine. Human Pillars. sized. Okay. Yeah, so I would. Those are pretty uh, big. <laughs> not a human human size. Like you could hold it with your hand, kind oh. of cup. Like a like a. That's very different. Yes, not like an entire human size, but like pretty 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 tall. There's mm -hmm. there's one of gold, one of silver. Quick, find the wood one. <laughs> uh, Restora, do you have anything that detects any kind of demonic presence or oh, yeah. warp presence? Then I will need you here, and I will need you to investigate. Can you detect me? Uh, I imagine so. Are you sure? Because I can't detect the warp. Nope. I don't. De I don't use the warp. I know, but if I can't detect a warp, then that might mean you can't detect me. Because I'm not connected to it anymore. Which means you wouldn't be able to detect any other things. So we can test it now. If you can t detect me with that power of yours, then we'll know that whatever you're about to sense will be real or not. Sure, let me find the thing. In the meantime, I will go back and I will hover along the wall. I presume nothing happens? Yeah, nothing happens. You're going around the wall. Your squeaky clean armor. It's, you don't hear the squeak anymore. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather not use it because it 
uses a fade point. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm approaching the tree that was at the cavern. Oh? Where? Where are you at? Mm, here. Isn't this I don't. Tree? I don't think he means he's walking directly at the tree. Oh, okay. He's I'm just like a, getting yeah, near I'm not it. walking. Yeah, I'm just. We're just approaching it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Try to see where you're at, so I can make sure. Cause... Here, I'm here. I'm okay, coming. cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do your thing. Uh, well, actually, no. Uh, yeah, nothing happens when you're right there. Okay. And I, I inspect the roots. Uh, do I see anything? You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Go do awareness check. All right. Um, after I'm done with the awareness check, uh, let me see. Yep, that's that's my awareness check. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. It just looks like roots and crystals that you saw before. All right. Okay. Hey, okay. I get here. Uh, and I am going to. Hover over to here in a straight line. Okay. Nothing happens. All right. I stop. And I, dro I drop down. And I'm going to walk over to where the barrier was. Rock, brother. Yes. It is, it is your time to shine. Excellent. I can be useful again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're moving the rock? Uh. Okay. Uh, everyone uh, get out. Everyone get out of here. No, I'm just asking. Are you moving the rock? I'm about to. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm saying, I'm telling everyone to get out of the cave and for the Ericlides to move the rock. Hey, uh, which rock are you moving or placing? Uh, which direction do you need it to face? Uh, so more to me... the right or more to the left? More to the right. Uh, okay. I'm going to try and ping it. I don't know if you're going to see it, but this is like the direction I need. Uh, okay. Yep. So one more to the right. So I move it after everyone has let me know that they are in a safe location for me to turn it to the right. Oh, Karnoff, you're still in there, Karnoff? Yes, I am at the border. Oh, okay. Well, give me one second. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty sure the altar's the puzzle to get through that. Well, we'll find out. We'll find I'll, out. Uh, I'll try another one. We have uh, more time to think now about the puzzle, uh, about the orb. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to examine the orb a bit more. Now, we examined the orb. There was nothing special about it. It's like a... Well, we looked pillars. at the orb. We didn't examine the orb. Okay, and yeah, okay. So, Karnal, do dodge checks. Okay, I'm hovering in the air. Uh, dodge yep. checks. Uh, yeah. What kind? Of, what's happening right now? Hold on, let me do it. Uh, just do a dodge check for me, please. Modifier. Minus sixty. Okay, cool. You just see a giant branch poke out from that tree. Like from underground, okay. No, 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 from the top of that tree, you just see a giant branch spear near where you were. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I uh, see more forming and like approaching my direction? Yeah, minus 60. Okay. Uh, it's it's I, shooting pretty rapidly, so. Okay. Uh, as that's happening, uh, okay, I'm gonna dodge, and I'm gonna attempt to move into the barrier. Okay, go for it. Nothing happens. I'm just stuck at the barrier. Yep. Minus sixty. Minus sixty again. Okay. Yeah, and those uh, branches, so... those giant branches, well, those greens I just drew, they are blocking your path. All right. As I, as that's happening, I uh, scream at Heraclitus to move the rock back. Oh. Uh, yeah, but one last know. dodge, and then we'll move the rock. Hold on. Yep. Uh, Did you, you fail that? Okay. 
And he just barely dodged that. Barely dodged that. Yep. Put the candle back. Rock brother. Yes. Move the rock back. I've moved it back. Yep. Okay, so are the branches still attacking me? No, they, you see them disappear. As quickly as they came, they disappear. All right. I relay this information to the team. What happened to me, that is. The giant branches of a tree started spear, like, spearing at you at rapid speed. Spearing at me, and the barrier was still standing. So we should probably stay away from the tree, then. Yes, uh, but will the wood from that tree penetrate our armor? I don't want to find out. <laughs> uh, let me move. Uh, I just use wood and penetrate and see. Are you following? Are you, you're, uh -oh. you're following? Okay, it's making sure we're following. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I asked, like, uh oh. Speaking okay. of uh oh. So you see two goblets, like I said, human sized goblets, one of silver, one of gold. So the you barrier see? over here on the stairs never went away. Oh, uh, let me go, let me go fix that real quick. Sorry, that's my All right. head. Right now. Hey, we can get through. All right, so two goblets on the and, altar. And the altar looks like a giant, kind of like a bowl, almost like an ancient bowl of some sort. Is there a spoon in the bowl? No. We just oh. see the two goblets. Is there the anything on the outside of the bowl? You don't see anything. Uh, go ahead and roll for awareness. You don't see anything obvious, I should say. Our scrutiny, KC scrutiny, Xenos lore, what do you guys want to use? You don't see anything in particular other than those two goblets there. Uh, I'm dumb as bricks. You, you see another goblet there below. You I see, see another goblin. A, a go goblet. <laughs> goblet. Goblet. What's a goblin? <laughs> yeah. It you... sounds. It sounds like something that needs to be purged from existence. Is what it sounds. Like. <laughs> I, yeah. I agree, I Rock Brother. I think they're smaller orcs. In fact, you see what looks like to be. You, you could have swear this. There's a copper one. You right. mean Grotchen. There has huh. to be a copper goblet as well. Yeah, right there. You just see it. You see a copper. You actually do see one. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to look at that directions, and do I see it there? Yes. But wait, is there a stone goblet? Is it that the uh, stone brother no. may partake in a drink? No? Okay. Nope. <sighs> Not yet. You can bring one of the stones, and I can carve it out with my chainsaw to form a cup. So you partake <laughs> in the same ritual. if we're going to do that, just use your helmet. And we just make our own cup, yes! No, but it has to be a rock cup. You don't understand, Prasora. You will never understand. <laughs> All right. Wait, what if we take all the cups to the lake and fill them? For yeah, that was... To fill them and then bring them the back. Food. I don't understand why we can't just take the entire bowl, but... I'm going to walk up to the orb. The crystal it's orb. It's a bowl, not an orb. It's a, it's a bowl. Sorry, bowl. There's a bowl. There's a... There's a bowl and the crystal that's there. Crystal orb. There's in also the center. a crystal orb. Yes. Oh. Boop. Yeah. Let me draw. Let me draw it. In the center of that thing. There you go. I, I go around. Are there any way. other cups besides those two? The copper one. You see three. I slowly go around. Point out. Yeah, I, I go around slowly, that's like inspecting. Weird. You sure Virlo pointed that out? He did. Yeah. yeah. He pointed yeah. it out, he found it, yeah. He definitely did. There's definitely huh. a copper goblet. Yep, definitely copper. But goblet that... right there. But I failed the scrutiny check. Oh, I know! Yep. Yes. Okay, alright. Okay, I'm, I'm like scrutinizing this whole thing. Uh, Just uh, around. So as soon as you get there, dodge check. Uh, where? Oh, right there. Right there, oh, okay. That's going to be a... Minus, minus six. Minus 60. Minus 60. Uh, yoink. 
And then also everyone else immediately in the immediate area, uh, minus 60 as well. Oh, God. Hey, not me. Brock Brother is safe. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Remember, you have uh, unnatural... Holy material. shit. How did I do um, that? How does that... I rolled a five! The, how does that factor into the checks? Uh, it should double your agility bonus? Right, but in checks, your bonuses don't matter. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your bonus just affects um, other stats. Yeah. Okay, so... And then... Uh, May I, I has, may I has one fate point, please? Yes, I'll give you mine. I'll give you a fate point. Thank you. All right, there we go. Okay, so you dodge out of it, Karnoff. And Brasora, strength check. Ah. Actually, uh, minus 50. I... See that the roots are strangling Brisora, and I'm oh, dodge more than, in, yeah, more than and that. like in, in the low. I'm gonna s dodge into the roots and enable my jump pack and like try to tear them away with like the momentum and like force. I'm just like trying to bring them away, or, like uh, tear them away from the roots. Sure. Uh, so you fail. Was that a flight check? Is it a strength check? No, I I was re-rolling the. Oh, okay. Dodge. Well, strength check now. It's wrapped around you tightly. Uh, can I assist? Sure. Uh, Does that change modifier any? No. Because like I'm, I'm like I'm coming in like a like a bullet train essentially. Like I'm just kind of trying to pick her up, grab grab her I, away. From I get me. it. Uh, yeah. dot check for you. Uh, for me, Karnoff. Yes. Uh. Minus sixty. Fail. Okay. Okay. In that case, it's gonna be. A... This. Well, does the do the thorns try to grab me as well? Oh yeah, mm. yeah, absolutely. And you do technically would grab onto Ma, but you're not unable to budge him. So Moth, take that much damage. Bypass. In, that, in that case, if I like. Gets stopped, uh, I, I, and Moff isn't able to budge. Uh, I ask, uh, what was it? Uh, Virlo, run. First of all, I ordered Virlo to run. I turn around and I run away the way I came in. Sweet. And I'm gonna use strength check to tear her Azura away from the roots. As soon as you get near the roots, minus 60 to dodge. To, to not get entangled yourself, yes. Okay. So these roots are roots, right? Yeah, they look like crystal. They, there's some stone attached to them. They, they look so weird. So they're not plants, they're crystals? Crystal, rooty like structures. It, it The best way to describe it is a root. Like a tentacle. So you successfully dodge. Go ahead and do a strength check. Minus mm. minus eighty. I can't even roll that high. Right. Uh hold on. Unless. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. That's funny, that's you landed right. Slap dab in the middle of that that trap right there too. Mm. Eric Clay, are you assisting them at all in any way? Or are you like, go champ, I got the rocks. He he's a rock man. He's a rock I'm I'm the uh, rock man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly check. Um I am rock man, man of the rocks. And Moth, are you doing anything in particular to get this off you? I'm looking through my faith house to see if I got anything that'll help here. Bef 
before I rush in to help her, I activate my solo mode abilities, burst of speed and feet of strength. Okay. Which allow me to... Technically, I can roll a 10 or lower and succeed, but it's going to be very tough. Um... Yep. <gasps> Yo! Holy you got him out. oh fuck! I succeed. You, you got him out. Eight. God damn. Nice. nice. Okay. Uh, one second. I'm back. Just barely. God like. And you are going to take eight hundred points of damage. You're both dead. No, no, no. Ma's gonna take that much more damage. I'm dead. Uh, are you really dead? Talking about? That. Are you really dead? It's, it's Twenty-nine yes. wounds. Of course, he's dead. Nobody has that much health except Cardon. You can half it. Uh, you... Even I would die. Right, you can half it. it is it, is it going out. against the armor? No, it goes is right it, through it. Is it going it. against so, the armor? So, right. So, if we, so, you can half it because he get he pulled you out. But the, does that still kill you? Nearly. Okay. You'd be in Fortune critical damage from that. Yeah. I wouldn't be in critical yet. I have 26 wounds total. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, do you have any critical damage? You don't have any critical wounds? No, but I did take six wounds early. early. Oh, I mean, like, uh, as a battle sister, do you have any critical damage, like, wounds? As a, as a oh, I can take critical wounds, yes, and they're far worse than yours. Mm, oh, okay. Because I can bleed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, she can't roll, like, ha or uh, take the half Yeah, I don't results. get to have yep. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So half of that should be fine. Ish. What? 15? Uh, 40, uh, is it half? I think it's. Half rounded up, right? Half rounded down, I think, was it? Unless you want to roll your chance to do another strength test for every degree of success, we'll half it. Should I move the rock? Yes, because anybody can get any degree of success on that kind of roll. Sure, you uh... can. You get uh, plus do not move the rock, brother. No. Yeah, he'll okay. get a plus 10, so it'll be minus 70 this time. He already had a plus 10. I'll get another one because of the, the fate, but up to you. No. Yeah. No, you're just going to take 29 half would eight straight up 29 kill 29 would, 29 would straight 16? up kill you. No, not 16. More like 14. With the 6 damage I had already taken, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think I, uh, I think the damage you take is gonna be uh, rounded down. I'm assuming you're hauling ass out of here now, right? Yeah. So okay. I, I. It dissipates uh, as soon as you leave the room. Okay. I pick her up with my only available arm. I fly on fr full throttle uh, back the way we came, and uh, onto the stairs. Hey, roll your. Criticals or whatever moth uh, that you're in. Oh, I'm not in critical yet. Okay. And that was on your torso and head. Jeez. Yep. One would have thought roots would go for the legs. <laughs> no, it's your whole These body. Smart roots, yeah. Whole body. Torso, head. They're, like, they're they roots, but that doesn't mean they go for your roots. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but yeah, they'll always target torso head. So, do we have the orb? Oh. No, we don't have the orb. Oh. Uh, now that I know where the trap is, I could, and since I am still under the influence of my talents, uh, which are very limited, by the way, they're like a half a minute, but like, I can travel very far. In a span of a single round. So, like, what is it? How far is the orb? Plus, your agility bonus is doubled, so you could even print yeah. more. I'm just going to stand here just to see the map. Uh, I'm not actually moving. Uh, I'm just going to calculate stuff. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Like, something around oh, 237. Damn. Right where that ended, that's where the trap begins. That's where it triggered when you did that. Yeah, so 270 meters in total. Uh, Didn't you just I roll can... four moth? So my armor has a medic system in it automatically that can trigger once a day. And oh. it heals uh, 1d10 plus 5 wounds. 
Holy nice. shit. There you go. You basically didn't took no damage then. No, I still have five wounds. Yeah. From the first one. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, now you know the trap's super deadly. I mean, we all knew the traps were super deadly already. Mm -hmm. Well, they weren't insta gibbed like those white traps. Poor bird, never stood a chance. Okay, 27. Oh my god. I need to double my stuff again. Oh. Okay. That's that. That's that. Uh. Plus two. I have so many talents right now. Sorry. Plus four. Oh, God. Five. And... Sixteen. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So my max running speed is 228 meters. Sweet. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So in the span of like a few seconds, I bring Moth back, uh, uh, Brisora back, and I bolt back in the way I, the, the same path I took. I bolt to the orb and I attempt to pick it with we we want we wanted to pick it up, right? The orbs or the, the goblets? I'm uh the There's orb. Three I'm, of them. Okay. I'm asking the team, did we want to pick up the orb or did we want to pick up the goblets? I think Probably we want the, orb. the goblets. Oh. I'd imagine we can't do anything with the orb until we fill the bowl with water. Alright. Then I pick up one of the goblets because Oh, actually, can I pick up both of them with my hand? One yes. hand? Yeah. Okay. Then I pick They're up pretty, both of them. Yeah, you just use one with the pinky, one with your... Because they're pretty small to you. There's a third one, too. The copper one that... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. Actually, well... When I first saw... I, I When I first inspected just... I did not see a copper. Uh, right. Yeah. And then he when... Point, he, he pointed yeah, it out. He pointed out. I, I see it now. Yeah. Can I make a logic test? Or, like... You can scrutinize it. Scrutinize it, sure. And before it's uh, not you, a goblet. You're fairly certain it's just like a copper ore that just so happenly turned, looks like a goblet type of structure. It's not really... <laughs> I called that shit. Yeah, it just like, <laughs> it just so happens to look like a goblet like the other ones. It turns out it's just the copper plated skull of the last person that tried this. No. Okay. <laughs> so I, uh, it's gonna be like end of my first turn. Okay. Uh, then, however many meters I travel down this route. Yeah, I turned the turn system off. I was only doing that uh, for the route. I was, I was gonna give you guys some time to save Moth there. Yeah, but no, but it's because uh, I have my uh, talents, which are like, which I can use like once, and they work only like for a few turns. Which okay. in like a single turn is like what three or six seconds? Eight seconds usually. Eight seconds. Yeah. Eight second period. Okay. All right. So, when you're next, like, uh, kind of move all the way to the lake, and okay. I d dip both of them in the water. Okay. Fill them. Fill them up. They both start glowing. What kind? Of, what? It, uh, what color? Silver and gold. They Silver just glow. And gold. They just glow more bright, like they were. Gold one. Glows more glow, gold, more goldy, and the other one glows more silvery. I relay that information to the team as I fly back to the altar. Okay. Do we? Do I put them back on the altar, or do I do something before that? Okay. <laughs> you pour. You fill the cups up and pour them both in, and it turns silver. Well, one's gold, one's silver, and they are both glowing now. Okay, so he flew over and filled the cups. Yes. yes. Okay, I have I'm multiple sorry. thoughts here. Statues are gold. No. There is 
beyond the lake, beyond the barrier, there is something gold that is glowing. Near those uh, creatures. It looks like there's another, possibly another altar looking thing over there. I placed a silver cup, full silver cup, on the altar here. Back where it was? Yes. Okay, yeah, I mean, the goblet's on the altar now. I did imagine you, you have a... to fill the bowl. I was going to say, did you see there was a bowl on the altar? Yes, yep, yep. Uh, see that? Uh... The bowl is silver, too, right? <laughs> the bowl is stone. A stone, and it has a pillar underneath it that is holding that orb that you're seeing in the center, that, that blue what color orb. What is the pillar? Stone. It's also stone. It's all stone. So you well, see the stone's orb? Kind of, stone is grayish and whitish, which silver is a grayish whitish color. Stone's also dirty. Maybe the water will purify it. Hey, maybe it doesn't matter what cup we use. I I think it does. Yeah. What if we take our helmet off and use the helmet instead? I pl place the golden cup on the mm, sh because, like, how, like, I don't have two arms. I only have one arm. And I, if I want yeah, to pour... Yeah, so you put the silver one the silver one, right? And then you put yeah, the gold one on the gold one now? You can still place it down. I imagine you're just holding it, uh, one in your pinky finger one. Your hands are massive compared to these cups. You could literally, like, your little two fingers, like a Vulcan sign, can hold both cups. Quite easily. I'm gonna put the go golden goblet on its spot. Yep, and it just sits there. You uh, have two goblets uh, on the pillars. I pick up the silver goblet and I pour the water into the bowl. Uh, yep, and you see crystal clear water pour in the bowl. You don't see any reaction. I asked, "Can you grab the golden? Can you grab the orb now?" Okay, if this is like a test thing, it's probably just going to be one of those tedious things where you have to fill up the entire bowl with one cup. <laughs> you don't. You don't know. So we're we gonna do rock, brother. Yes. What do you think of this? Do you need me to move a rock? No, not yet. Um. So you filled the bowl with the silver cup, yes? And I there's the, you fill about a third of the way. Looks like. I relay that information. Hmm. There's definitely no other cups. There is a golden cup. Well, well right. I meant aside from those two. Uh, definitely no other cups. All right. Well, you can test to grab the orb now, and we can know for certain if it's. Unless well, right. it's like the statue and gets him stuck in place when he does it. I still. Uh, um... Well, hey, I mean, when in doubt, you could just fill up the. Uh... The silver yeah, go uh, goblet and just fill it all the way back up. Meta gaming a bit uh, outside of character. I am under the effect of my talents still, so I do have a bonus to my rolls if, uh, if something happens to me. Hey. But if it's anything like the stone statues, I might get glued on and I might get fucked. Yeah, so I say go and just keep filling the bowl with the silver thing, so go fill it back up with more, pour more in and Fill it up, then touch it. All right, so Karnoff proceeds to fill up the bowl with the silver cup, but going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, uh, it fills up, fills all the way up, and then you see that that crystal orb kind of like glow. And that's the only reaction you get. Don't touch okay. it yet. Go back to that barrier. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And Karnoff goes to the barrier. One second. Uh, he picks up the golden goblet on the way to the barrier. Smart. Because okay. we're probably in for the other one. I sneak. Oh, I don't get okay. spotted by those critters. Okay. Uh, silent move then. Minus. Minus. I mean, if it's minus anything. 35. Minus 35. I fail. There's, there's no way this is going to work. Okay. Yeah. Aw. 
Yep. When I'm, I'm here, sneaking here, as I jetpack around. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not screaming. I'm crouched, but I'm jetpacking. But your jetpack is making that noise. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's like a big ass vacuum. It I forgot to of... turn off the Emperor's hymns in the background. Yeah, it has one fierce machine spirit inside of it. All right. Karnov uh, revs up his jump pack and attempts to go for the barrier. And he goes for the barrier. Oh, I can see him. Right uh, over there. He's going to wait. Up, 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 up. Hold on. He stops midway through. He thinks about something. And then he. Ah, the wall. He goes to the wall. <laughs> There you go. <sighs> Hugs the wall. Why does he? Oh, uh. Retreat. What does it look like? And did it just appear, or what? What is it doing? It just appeared. You saw it move fast in your eye. I could see, and it appeared right in front of you, as if it's blocking you. Does it attempt to attack me? You see, you see a giant sword. It's pulling out a giant sword from its sheath. I dodge back. I dodge and back. And it's looking green. And it's moving fairly slowly. To and it just has a very determined, willful look right at you. Glowing, piercing green eyes. And kind of just raises its sword, pointing at you. But it does, doesn't do anything else. It stays where it's at by that, that fire. Is that a fire? I yeah. raise my goblet, indicating that I have it in my possession. It just points its sword at you. It has not moved an inch. It doesn't even seem to react to what you just did. Okay, so hover... maybe the gold cup was something unrelated. I hover over to this side, just slightly to the right side. Does it move? Does it follow me? It's just pointing its sword at you. So it, it does follow me, okay. And the other one is now doing the same. You see it pull out a giant sword, starts catching on fire like a green flame, and points right at you. Oh shit, green flame blade? That stuff jumps. Okay. Uh, I then go around to the... Uh, not go around. I go to this wall behind me. I hug it. My safety wall. My emotional support wall. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go around it. Okay. And just all the across the shore. Untracked. It just teleports. Yeah. You just see it. Oh, it, it teleports. Okay. You just see it instantly there. Still pointing its sword at you. Gl glaring at you these green eyes. Same with the other mm -hmm. one. Both pointing their swords at you. And this, the water is the same as it was on the top of the lake. That's correct. That, Very okay. crystal clear. I go here. I just inspect. Yeah, I relate that there is another lake past the barrier, and there's a shore on top of which two Xeno guardians are standing vigil and not Around letting me pass through. a big bonfire, through. apparently. Behind a big bonfire, uh, in front of a big bonfire, and they are not letting me through. And the golden goblet does not do anything to them. I will be right. I okay. I what if I splash the contents of the golden goblet on top of them? You're throwing water at them? I'm asking my team. Uh, You're teammate. clearly challenging them to a duel to do that. Well, no, it, it needs to be a glove. It's a different. Well, I mean, you're insulting their honor by throwing glass of water. Oh. Yes. oh, actually, yes, you're right. We don't really have any other options. It's, uh, it's either get through them. Uh, do something with the goblet, 
go back and pick up the other goblet, but that's very finicky. No, I don't know. no. The, either the goblet has absolutely nothing to do with anything, or it, it is the key, but it already sounds like they're already not really reacting to your goblet. It is filled with water. I'm gonna, in front of them, I'm gonna dump the contents into the lake below me. Okay. They're just looking at you unchanged. I go back to the little water to <laughs> fill it up. <laughs> Try acting like a little teapot, short and stout. No handle, but a spout. Uh, I'm going to attempt to spray some water on, on them from the goblet. Are you really? No, I don't think I, I, Karnoff would do that. No, he just would do... He would just drop the water and like see the reaction. If nothing happened, he would just fill up the goblet and just do nothing for now. Do I, do I need to move a rock? I don't think that would be a good idea, but at the same time, that's the only option we have. Uh, let me get... I mean, I can always move it back. Just scream in terror and I'll move it uh, back. Mav, uh, Brasora is here. In ah. the cave. Oh. I can wait for her to move away from the cave before I... Well, I stop all it's going to do I... is just close the barrier on the stairs that we know of. Because it didn't affect that other barrier. But it might affect whatever's in that room if I move the eye. It might. It very might. Uh, the rock... Uh, the Not the... The eye did not seem to affect this barrier. So I doubt, I doubt it would right. do much. But it might affect the stuff in there. Maybe. I am back. We're thinking about moving, moving the rock. rock. Yeah. Why? I did... From what we can, from what I've seen, each puzzle seems to be self contained for the room it's in. The golden goblet did nothing. I like, I poured the contents out of the goblet. They didn't react. I don't want to spray water on them from the goblet. No, I, I thought the, uh, the gold thing over there was like another altar. It turns out it's just a bonfire. So it, the puzzle okay. was probably just fill the bowl. Maybe with silver, maybe with just gold. Who knows? You want me to tell you? Because you already solved it. Was it just fill? It was just silver? Just fill the altar. Okay. It's a simple puzzle. Phil, I, I was trying to uh, make the water somewhat important, like so you knew it was there, and then like if there's a bowl, then two and two equals pour water into it. Did that. Now, had you touched that crystal, that would have been bad news bears. It would have done two things to you, Don. Yeah, you would have, you would have, you would have been stuck, and both those traps would have been triggered on you, and then you'd have been taking one d twenty indefinitely and stacking. So eventually, you would die. Yeah. yeah. You know, tell the bulk kind of Yikes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He probably would die before that. It's every eight seconds he's gonna take that damage. What are you guys going to do? You guys are at the two guardians. They're peering uh, at you. What if there are three people here? What do they do then? At the various points? And... Why not find out? Go Rear low. Do not Go move the rock the yet. What am I doing? I won't move the rock. Rear low, get in here. Brasora, get in here. I'm in now here. going to move the rock, or trap them in there, and leave. All right. So where? Eh, 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 eh. Uh, ping. Where my ping is? I don't even see your ping. Are you back in that lower, room? lower right? Yeah, they're in the room with the guardians. Lower right or lower left? Right. Lower, lower right. right. Lower right. Oh. They already solved the lower left puzzle. That was the upper left puzzle. Oh yeah, that too. There was nothing to the lower left aside from a murder tree. Wait, no, oh, lower right is the uh That's the red herring room. No, oh, no. what? No 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 no. no, okay, no, no, no left not, not room this. in the green. Don't don't worry about the lava room. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna move your token. Hold on. Alright. Ah uh, There. There. Got it. And you just see their arms move almost instantly at all three of you. It looks Do like they it's go phasing. into the water at all. No. 
They stay, they stay where they're at. But you see their arm move so fast, it looks like they're both of them are pointing all three of you. Can I move up to here? Yep. Because there is a big stone dais right there. Yep, looks like a stairway down to something. Yep. Virla, move to the middle. Yeah, and boop. Ah, third one appears. Well, third. It looks like a third one. It's just the two, and one of them's moving so fast, it's splitting between you guys. <laughs> After images, no. Ba basically, here I'll, I'll 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 token it. So. You have oh. a point where you are now moving into the water. Which means they're either <laughs> afraid of it or there's a barrier that's just they're just protecting this bonfire. And there's just there's like just a set distance they don't move past. Alright, well I guess I move back up here, so the one that's teleporting back and forth stops. Should I do something stupid? Actually, can your can one of your guns be loaded with water? No, they're Make it a they're belt of pistols. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not they're not squirt guns. They don't shoot lava. What about your storm boulders? Can like they be? Can we turn those into squirt guns? I mean, the last time we attacked things here, bad stuff happened. So I'm just going to splash this guy with the water. See what happens. Oh, you're, so you're splashing him? Yeah. So his out of his blade that's pointing at you, that green flame extends out like a laser beam right at you. You going to dodge it? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Wise decision. Huh. I wonder what would have happened if you had chosen not to dodge. Yeah. Eat it, right? Eat shit and die trying. Do a dodge check after that, or another dodge check after that as well. Oh, boy. You just see green flames engulf that area. And it's kind of squiggling in your direction, too. Well, then. You say it's flames, did you? Hi. It'll make them holy. Yeah. Are you going to touch that flame? Well, then, let me find the thing. I do not have to touch the fire to bless it. So you're blessing it? Yep. Yeah, that's still just a green flyer fire coming at you, and it has a little bit of tinge of gold to it. What are you doing now? It stopped spreading, by the way. Did the creature I... teleport over to me? Or is yes. it still staying over there? It teleported. All right. In this All case, right. everyone get out. So we're leaving now? Is that it? Yeah. Is it, is it rock time? It is rock time. I moved the rock. Not yet. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't want to die. I put the rock back down again. <laughs> who's, who's staying in here? I no am one. staying here. Oh, Where are off? you precisely? Huh? I could have sworn we already did this and nothing happened. We no, didn't. we were outside of the barrier. Now we're inside the barrier. Or like I am inside. I'm gonna go over uh here. I'm gonna stand over here. Okay. 
And I'm going to wait for the rock brother to do his thing. All right. I move the rock over to here. Funnily enough, the eye is already pointing that way, but I know it wasn't. <laughs> I just did. I did. Well, I knew you guys were going to do that, so I moved it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, do I see any changes? Nope. They're just staring at you. Did, did, did it move into the water? They are just staring at you, with their blades held at you, pointing at you. Yeah, but they're not going into the water. They have not touched the water. Nope. They haven't left that shoreline. I am out of ideas here. Fighting them would be pointless. Going past them would be pointless. Throwing the water would be point is pointless. Well, you haven't tried uh, fighting them yet. Well, Brasora. Uh, I'd imagine that counts as an attack for them. No, but uh, you use the water without the goblet. But then again, the goblets are self-contained to that puzzle. As far as we know, but yeah. I'd imagine, I thought they would be, since they weren't going into the water, maybe it was something about the water itself. It's not. Yes. yes. And they perceive that as an attack on them. If they do. It also did nothing to them, so. My only other thought is to get them to teleport into the fires. Actually, but how do we thought. get past them? I have a thought. Uh, let me just quickly see. So, uh, rock brother, move the rock back. I'm moving it back. Okay, one second. You guys are about an hour in, so you guys have three hours left until the fleet mm -hmm. arrives. I'm just gonna say. So this is like a, just a slope, like a, a slippery slope. Three hours left until our ship gets back. Four yes. hours until the mother ship arrives. Yeah, Boku, it's just like a a, a slope. And Forty minutes until I probably pass out. Yeah. <laughs> How much rocks you doing? <laughs> yeah, all that rock moving position. Oof. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't right. had to use his real muscles in who knows how long. Right. It's like, I've been moving rocks all day. Oh, God. Uh, one of Karnan's many workouts. How many? How, what, what, is this a slope? Or what is this? Yeah, exactly? it's a slight, ro sli slight, slight rocky slope. So this is an elevation. Okay, very good. Bovely. Uh, Wait, how... is, is this just like. Okay. Is, is the area back here taller than the area back here? Yeah. High and the higher ground than you guys. I'm not a one. Okay. I dig a waterfall. No. <laughs> no, I mean the, the side they're on is higher than you guys. Okay. They're on a yes, they're on a, brother. Yeah, they're on a sloping hill, and then you see that that altar-like structure with the stairway down ways. Okay, they're low. They, they seem to be guarding something important. That's all you can do. You are our designated marksman. With no with hands. No hands. <laughs> I, I forgot. Oh, fuck. come on. I, I can shoot from a very big distance, too. Uh, sure. So what am I doing now? I guess nothing. I forgot you don't have any hands. <laughs> I also have a fancy marksman rifle that like gives me plus 20 to hit. Uh, because we need to get as far away as possible so that we can attempt to hit them, and that will give us enough time to dodge and react to their uh, counterattack. And see well, if they anything. can teleport. Well, they only teleport here. They did not teleport out of your attack. They didn't teleport out of the harm's way. You said, I could take a shot. Because I have... Also, uh, or I could take Brooks, maybe sniper weapons, because I have two functioning hands. So you yes. guys gonna do? You guys gonna attack this thing? 
I'm gonna move all the way back, uh, and I'm just like saying that one of the one of the members of the kill team should attempt to strike it because if that's the only option we have. We're not fighting yet, by the way. I'm just getting prepared. Yeah. So I'm gonna move in there and shoot uh... at it. Brasora, do you want to do that, or do you want Ericlides to do that? I mean, my weapon is 200, 200, 200, so I can technically shoot at them from the staircase. Unfortunately, well, we don't have there's the a wall in the way, so yeah. I could shoot at them from way back over here. So this is about 211 meters. Yeah. Yep. And I, I have a thing where I don't take range increment detriments. Yeah, so you can do up that. Up to uh, extreme. Let Brasora do it, Rock Brother. Okay. Are you shooting you from can, that room into there? You can take an aim action. Uh, I'm going to stow my sword. Oh, well, it was stowed, but I have my shield on my back strapped to me. Uh, or somehow, or like just strapped to me in a way. And I'm going to hold it with my remaining hand in front of her. All right, I guess I brace on the shield and shoot one of the monster things. Hey, okay. fire! And then after you fire, moth, go ahead and do a dodge check minus sixty. Same with you, um, Dan. Karnoff. Yeah. yeah. Here's this rifle. Mm. Oh yeah. You, you definitely triggered something, so. Do your damage, though, Moth. Ah. So. I, can I fade? I'm just going to fade point that again. I, I, I would. That might insta-kill you. Oh. Uh, question. Look, can we see how much damage it would do? The what? Yeah, go roll yeah. your damage. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jeez. the branch? Wait, the, what do you mean the branch? The oh, tree, yeah, as soon as you fired into that... In it's down the hallway, happen. the tree responded to what you're doing. You triggered uh, it. Okay. So, by the way, that that dodge checks only a one point two. I put plus forty instead of minus. You still succeeded. So yeah, as soon as you fire, you just see a branch impale where you were, and you do the same. Oh, okay. sh I, I meant to say minus forty. Uh, so one point seven. Yeah. So you two see branches right where you work. You deal Thank 30 you damage, see. penetration of 14. They have an armor of 45. Says 63 on their thing. Let me do some math here. I dodge in the same direction as you, Bristol. 14, 49. I don't think you, you don't get through. Yeah, you don't get through. Uh, that was a critical success, so... so. Yeah, keep doing your thing then, Moss. It wasn't a critical success, but it did Righteous Fury. Yeah, go ahead, oh, Righteous, righteous Fury. Fury. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, do your Righteous Fury. And then dodge check after each Ooh. one. After each one? Oh, my God. Every time we fire, the thing's going to retaliate the tree. Oh, well... That's like the same kind of attack. It's not like really shots. Oh, okay. Just... If it counts as one attack, that's fine then. Unless you're doing a multiple attacks right now. No, no, we'll, we'll count it as one attack. That way, that yeah, is okay. kind of BS. So, because because I'd be dead. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, unless you could take one d one hundred damage. No. Okay. Uh, Not unless you rolled one both times. <laughs> <laughs> so they have three minus fourteen minus yeah. First, second one, don't get through. It's not like this is Meltifier either, so... No, minus 14. If they got 45 armor, this is literally nothing. They, yeah, they got more. They got... They got... uh All together, they have 63. Oh. So, this 63 armor. Yeah, you just pissed them off, and... Go ahead, roll your initiative. And everyone else should roll oh, initiative, too. It should be doubled, so... uh Hold on. There you, oh, oops. there you go. Uh, 
Okay. So, oh, Eric, actually had me selected. Who else has a Tesseract? Where are you yeah, at? Just... I'm next to Rockman. Okay, you're in the uh, roll initiative too. Oh boy. Everyone in the building, initiative. We're not in a building, we're in a cave. Cave, whatever. Everyone in the cave. It's in a cave, roll just initiative. a building, but naturally formed. Did you build it? No. The Emperor the must have built it. Oh, the Emperor definitely did not build this. Mm -hmm. You know. So, oh yeah, you're right. Tesseract's character looks like. There you go. Twenty-two. God damn. So, uh, Rukatio, go. Um. I uh I move my arms frantically because they have no hands. <laughs> what is it, boy? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Use your words. Someone's poisoned the water hole. No. Uh, Good. I take cover behind this giant eye statue thing. And I keep an eye out. Why are you hiding? Because, brother, I have no arms. You have arms. You just have no hands. Okay, I have no hands. You got me there. A real space rain would, you know, tie his melee weapons to his wrists. Yes, with no hands to tie the ropes. He's got teeth, doesn't he? Uh, quickly. He can also just spit on them and acid weld them. Quickly, brother. Uh, put the uh, tie tie my lightning claw to one of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is gonna hurt. Bah! I mean, one could imagine you hold it with your fist, so all you really gotta do is just shove the stump in there as well. Yeah. That would probably do, right? Yeah. Can you hear me? Right. Yeah? Hello? Now oh, sorry, I, must have, I, was, I was gonna say, you can spend one full action there, yell mug, to put that claw on him. Sorry, I was talking. I must have muted myself by accident. Oh, you must have. It's weird yeah. Okay, but yeah, you can spend okay. one full one full action cool. to. Uh, well, whenever it gets my turn, I'll I'll do that. Okay, and Brasora, what are you doing? Uh, running. Okay. Are we? We're not staying in this room, are we? Uh, seems like we're not. Seems like we're really not. Unless, uh, well, did it seem like you did any damage to them? I don't off. think so. Plus 20? Okay. Your character is certain you did damage. Press the attack. <sighs> Why'd I have to roll so bad on that? <laughs> the 99, and it's a 0. .5 loss. Press the attack. I'm re-rolling that. Okay. God damn. Wow. It still wow. succeeded on a Holy 100. Holy shit. But okay. it's a critical so, fail. <laughs> I, I will say... It's not how you, it's going You're going to run, Moth. You observe that it doesn't look like you did damage, but you're certain if we press the attack in the room, you can deal damage. You're just in the bad spot. So, you may run, you may run towards them, you may run away. Your character is just relaying that information. Are you going to do anything else? Roll it again. No, I don't think you would. No, that, that's you just like said, oh, that didn't do any damage. But if we want to, we can continue on. Yeah, push the um, attack. You're, you're certain that we have to be in that room to I'm, deal, I'm re deal damage. I'm rolling that again. No, you, you, should, you shouldn't. That, that, that was good enough. Yeah, yeah. Your character, the other characters can take that information, ignore it, whatever. So yeah, you save that faint point. Yep. Uh, I say that we probably need a bigger, like heavier firepower because getting in close would be a suicide. And judging by the roots, we we still need to go regardless. And so we go. So you're calling did, in the did the. Did the room just change size? Uh, no. I don't think so. 
I got weird. Okay, Karnoth, go. Oh, yeah, this is like where I moved to as well. Uh, so you guys calling in the Dreadnought, huh? <laughs> yep, I guess so. You guys can emergency call your ship for reinforcements. That's not out of the question. Because the four hour wait time was just radio silence to avoid detection. So. Well, you also said we couldn't radio the ship. No, but emergency radioing you can. They're just, you guys, they're under strict orders not to answer to regular comms. So they check on you in four hours. Because if you ring the comms, the bad, the bad boys will come. So it's up to you all. Because you have the, you guys have emergency beacons back at the campsite. Gotcha. Yep. So it's up to y'all. That's assuming they even leave the area they're in. Right. We should and... probably go a full turn to see if they do anything. Okay. Uh, Karnoth, you moved. I moved. Okay. Ericlades. I put a lightning claw on a handless man's hand. Okay. I now have and... one hand, and it's a claw. So this one is going to teleport into this room. Oh, God. And this one... Oh. Teleport. Where are you guys? Ah. Over well, here. we're boned. I still have... I only have my shield up. I don't have my sword up. Just letting you know. Okay. Uh, Birlo, you now have a claw. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge at this guy and take a swipe at him with the claw. Penetration on the thing? Oh my god, I'm fate pointing that. You really should not be using your melee weapons. You should be using your ranged weapons. What? I don't what? have yes. a ranged weapon. <laughs> he can't. Like, oh. He has no fingers to squeeze the trigger. Yep. He can't use his toes or his nose. All right, here we He's go. He's in a bad spot. Oh my Said fucking god! Your armor penetration to get through that anyway. Uh, yeah, it is a power you're... field weapon with pen eight. Oh yeah, power power field. Eight? Okay, Cobra, they have sixty three armor. Uh, but you know, you know who power who, field. You know, <laughs> I'm fate pointing right. this again. Okay. Oh my god. Do your damage. Alright. Let's see what gets through. It is energy. Okay. And it what's the what's the abilities on it? Is it like uh Yelmug's character there? Is so it phase the through? Field, uh, it, uh, let me like find the specific rule. Right, because Yelmug's was a special type of weapon. Yes. Yeah. He can actually hurt these guys. Technically, the, the Lightning Claw has the special property, but I, I don't know what its special is. It's, it's a claw and it's lightning? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find... Uh, I'll, hold on. The special is relevant to the weapon, so you need right. to actually look up the weapon to see what its special is. Right, what, yeah. you put it, what did, did you put down on its special ability? Nothing. I just put special in there. I need when to. When a character look up... equipped with a pair of lightning claws, uh, they instead do two additional points of damage per degree of success. So you got. So... Okay, so he doesn't do any more damage. Than yeah. He does. Uh, yada 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 yada. So power field, power field. Let me find it. Because um... if he ignores some armor, he can deal some stuff. If not, you're just you're scratching him. You gotta get cat versus stone monolith right now. What up, Eric ladies? You're about to be engaged in various combat. Your fist is gonna come in handy that pierces through armor. Good. I shall murder it with abandon. So how how does the power field work again? Um I'm reading I'm reading. Alright. Hope you all don't die down here, though. That'd be the worst. 
Well, if you're really hoping for that, then no, I would have done it. Armor in a third. No, I. This is what I set them up as. This is the encounter. You guys are near max level characters, so I'm throwing crazy content at you guys. When the wielder successfully uses this weapon to, <clears throat> when the wielder successfully uses the weapon to parry an attack made of a weapon that does not have a power field quality. It has a 75% chance of destroying the attacker's weapon. The weapons with the warp uh, weapon trait and natural weapons are immune to this effect. So, in other weapon. words, it only affects parry weapons. You can break weapons with your weapon. Got yeah. it. Yep. So, you scratch them. All right, uh, Bersara, go. <sighs> it's pistol time. You started this fight, say so you no. Know. How much armor well, do these I fuckers have? 63. 63. Jesus. Yeah, it's a boss fight. Alright, what do you got for Sora? Uh, how tall is this guy? Pretty damn tall. Uh, he, he's almost to the ceiling here. He's about two dreadnoughts tall. Ten Not meters? Him. Twenty meters? All right, then he, I he... fly jetpack around him over to here. Okay. Will that invoke attack of opportunity for flying? No, you you fly out wide enough. Never mind. You're good. And then you're gonna shoot him in the back or something? Yeah. While I'm about right here-ish in range, I'll shoot him. Okay. I'm hoping to avoid the tree hitting me with the stupid shit for being in the room. <laughs> you're on the you're on the ledge. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Do your thing. Okay. Do your damage. That's a melta weapon? Yep. Okay. So some of us are where does that hit? Are they both uh, melta or is it just uh, one? They're both melta. One's a shotgun and the other is a double pistol. Okay. See, Forty-six and head. So twenty torso and head. Okay. So specifically the uh the double pistol, the tw the first damage hits the torso. The other one hit the shotgun hits the head. Okay, so that only lost. Okay, so that's. Are you at point blank range? Range or? No. Okay. I mean, I I was around thirty meters away, which is the minimum range for the shotgun. Yeah, I don't think not within is... half. I'd have to be okay. fifteen, I think. And then. Let's see, the shotgun, oh, let's see, the pen. So the Celestial hits the head, you said? Uh, no. Hits, celestial hits. hits the body, shotgun hits the head. Okay, give me one second. You actually got some damage through there. So, 25 minus 29, 4. Boop. Minus 4. All right, Karnoth, go. Oh, apparently the shotgun also does another 1d10 damage for setting it on fire. It does. Oh. It, he doesn't catch on fire. Oh. But you definitely hurt hurt it, it seems. All right. Uh, Karnoff, on his turn, will activate Renewed Vigor, which will make me ignore all critical hits, stuns, and consciousness, and heal my wounds according to my rank, which is 8. So I'm going to heal 8 wounds. Um, there you go. I don't know if it heals critical wounds. I don't think it does. Uh, I think it just heals regular wounds. So I'm going to go with the regular ones. And I, Karnoff is going to flip his shield to the side, kind of, and uh, unsheath his sword. And charge at the celestial oh, with this creature, and yep. he will do a preternatural. Uh, he will do a charge attack with three attacks. Uh, so that will. Be... And what are you targeting specifically? 
His torso is pretty kind of up there. You'd have to jump to get it, but you can't get him in the chest. Uh, I'm targeting targeting his leg. I'm targeting okay. his uh, his kneecap. Go for it. Uh, that's gonna be plus twenty. Oh, so is this a Zeno's? Yes. Oh, 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 very good. Very Hatred good. applies. Which means you get a plus ten to hit everything. By the way, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, that means yeah. Uh, those are all twos except for that one. Sure. So for the first two. Uh, nothing. I think. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing. I'm using my jump pack, yes. So this into Zeno's. Uh what's the leg armor? Sixty-three. Fifteen damage goes through. Damn, you hit hard. I hit real hard. So uh becoming a champion. Uh let me see, did I do a critical success? No. Becoming a champion, uh, whenever I hit something, I also apply Toxic. Um, Doesn't bother it. Uh, toxic is just basically damage. Uh, yeah, oh, tox dead. Toxic is a weapon effect kind of thing. Uh, no, for for exactly for uh, just champions, Deathwatch champions specifically, like uh, basically shows how well they know the anatomy and just like they know where to strike. It's not like a real toxic damage. It's just okay, I'm about to say it's, it's, yeah, just yeah. Toxic it's, it's not like poison it. damage. It's it's yeah. like an effect. I'm about to say like it's it, an Yeah, it's like it's a machine uh, thing. So no poison. Yeah, but yeah, so, it, it, uh, what is it? Seven damage from toxic. Yeah. So uh, six. What is it? So minus seven more. No, no, no. Um, in order to apply that damage, it needs to roll a toughness test. Uh, oh, for okay. every point of damage it took. So, uh, so 15 minus 7 is 8. So, uh, toughness test. Hold on. 8 times 5 is 40. So, toughness test minus 40 for him. Failed. Okay, he fails. He takes that damage. So, he takes 15 damage. He takes fi full 15 damage from that. Oh, okay. I already applied the 15. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, because... That's how it works. Uh, yada yada again, again. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, six toxic two. Uh, toughness uh, minus twenty. It needs to roll toughness minus twenty. Yeah. Okay, so it only takes four damage instead. And one, one, uh, no, yes, yes, uh, regular. I don't do any damage. So for all the, all the damage, you see nothing uh, goes 19 through? 19 damage total. Yeah, 19 oh, damage total, yeah. That's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, Eric Ladies, go. Sweet. I'm going to charge this guy. Boom. Now I have lightning to strike uh, and preternatural speed, which means I get three attacks when I charge and just when I make normal attacks. All right. Uh, so he's an alien, yeah? Yes. Yes. And I heard you mention before that we get a plus 10 when attacking plus these 10 aliens. For hatred. Woo. Yes. Oh, that, that's. Did you give everybody hatred? Uh, no, it's not hatred. It's Hunter of Aliens that's a talent, which oh, is sorry. plus 10. Yeah. Sorry, I'm human, so it's hatred. And me. hatred is a different well, talent. Hatred's a different you're... talent. Yeah. Oh, mine's not a talent. It's just, it just is a thing. No. Uh, well, I do have hundreds of aliens, so I do at least get this plus ten. Yeah. Hey. Uh, if it's a huge target, wait, wait, is this a huge target? Yeah. Huge. Oh, that's so another plus ten or twenty, depending. Yeah, on plus how twenty. Big Pretty plus big. 20. All right, like, so that's a plus 30. Dreadnought call. Oh, then in that case, I should have gone for more damage. Oh, oh, oh well. I'm going to go ahead and just make all my attacks now. I don't know why. I uh, you need to that. roll for, for each attack individually. Yep, yep. Uh, 
All right, they all hit. You just like double fist them with both fists going forward. <laughs> well, it's three, three, uh, three attacks. Okay. That nine point five was also. An and then you give, just... you give him the boot then too. Yeah, one, two, three. Well, no, 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 all fists because I want them to go through his armor. He charge punches a guy, Isn't your garland... him, and then roundhouse backhands him. Your gauntlet's special ability was to ignore, ignore armor yeah. completely. So yes, all, yeah. all your damage will go through. Oh my god, oh, so painful. Oh, uh, plus two to all of those because of uh, Hunter of Aliens. So it's 37, so 37 35, 35, and 35. So 70 plus 37. That's over 100 damage. So 105, so 105 damage. Okay. Is he dead? No. Those I'm... rolled really well. Yeah. Gobler, we fought like a boss with over a thousand HP at one point. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I nope. just thought maybe because he has so and much that's armor. After we did five thousand damage worth of damage to it. Yeah, but this ah. isn't that crazy. The, the the puzzles are crazy enough. I made I made the boss fights a little more sane, so somewhat. Okay. Well, now I'm worried because you said fights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not done yet. No. We're not done yet. So, who's in the room here? Is it uh, you, Tesseract? Me and Rook. Okay, so. I think me and Rook are the only ones in this room. You're in melee. Actually, you're both in melee range, right? Yep. So, yep. Okay, both are getting attacked simultaneously. What Sweet. misses? What, uh, who's the one that's getting missed? Uh, good Good call. Let's see. Let's see. Odds. It, it'll be you, Yo Mug. Okay. And evens, evens will be uh, Tesseract. He gets missed. Uh, okay, so Rook is the one getting hit then. Yes. Because he was evens. Yes. Yep. Oh, oh Jesus. God. You could dodge, remember? I better fucking dodge. Yeah. Or I'm. Uh, Otherwise, you die. Oh. That's not that bad. Oh, that's not that bad. 25 armor pin. Holy shit. A three. I rolled a three. I mean, we basically yeah, fought the corn berserkers that had the same damage. I, okay, yeah. and I now you guys got to this. It's firing this out of its head. Down at you guys. Oh, I can't bullshit. You can only make one attack a turn. <laughs> what do you mean, four attacks a turn? No, it's how many targets are in the room. So Holy is crap. that attacking one each of us? Yes. Okay, well, we just gotta dodge, do a normal dodge. Yep. Well, I can dodge. I don't know so much about you. I can dodge multiple attacks per turn. Yeah, I can only I dodge one attack, I think. I think you just can. Just made it. Uh, let me check your... No, uh, unless he has step aside. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna check. He would be the only one of us who doesn't have it, then. Oh, really? Do you all have step aside? Yep. Uh, I step aside. Let me quickly check. Technically, mine is unassailable grace. But, but yeah. it's additional dodge, so yes. Step aside. But I oh succeeded in my dodge. Ooh, also, if I charge or run in a round, which I did, there's a minus 20, 20 to hit me. Nice. Wait, nice. I'll get that yeah. in mind. With a range attack, right? Uh, melee or range, doesn't matter. As long as I ran. It's just a minus 20 to attack rolls on me. Not bad. Uh, and since I can move and shoot, I could just keep doing that. Well, I'd have to run a whole 120 meter distance, but I guess I can just fly in a circle. I guess you could. Um, hold on. Because I, f I, I remember... But, but... But Tesseract, you also have your your dreadnought, so your character isn't super dead. <laughs> You're well, half your character is. Virlo dead. is. Virlo would be dead. Yeah, I'm but wanted... you could you could save him. They have abilities where you could save them because the whole team is not a party wipe, so your character would just be unconscious x amount of turns. You can also permanently burn a uh, fate point to stay alive. Yeah, if I had any remaining, which I don't. No, no, it's a burn. It's a perma burn. So. Yeah, I know, but I'm out of fate points. Yeah, for the round, but perma burn, I, I would allow you to burn it permanently to not die outright. All right, 
I'll do that then, because clearly I don't have another dodge. I think, uh, I, I'm just checking, uh, I was, because, like, I'm checking my own notes in, like, and I think I should have given you a step aside, but I didn't give it to your character sheet. All right. We'll assume you have step aside like everyone else. All right, yeah. well, I'll, I'll attempt another dodge then. Oh my Wait. god. I'm on fire <laughs> with these dodge checks. Okay, Congratulations. And Damn. And then you two. And I'm not on fire from Holy Xeno's so who's, in, who's in melee range? Uh, you are... Uh, is. I'm out of range. Sweet. It's going to attack you. Once? Yeah, once the giant blade. Looks like it has a big sweeping arc of attacks. Yes. And then, and then gonna... it also laser beam eyes everybody. Same round. Yeah, yep. Or anyone that's in the room. So if you all, if both of them are in the same room with you two, it would be a lot of attacks you're dodging. Everyone would be dodging. Uh, two attacks. Uh, I think that's how it works, right? Yes. Yes, that's how I, my things work. Yep, I parried it. Giant ass blade, have... parry it. You parry the sword. Damn. He probably steps aside and... and... Basically, Parry. I just it's like pairing. You just kind of move away, like just yep. move the sword away. From yep, yep. You turn his momentum so it doesn't hit you. It's just yeah. yeah. The damn sword is about as big as big as you are on its blade, uh, edge to edge. It'd be as tall as you. Smashes in the ground as you. Yeah, I think that's artfully that's parry to the side. Yep, do. you just step aside. Yeah, that's my parry attack against him. Okay. Uh, none. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, non toxic damage does not go through. Uh, he takes no damage. Okay. He takes zero damage. Okay, and then you guys are going to get laser beamed. Each Go one ahead. of us? Yeah. Fires. Okay. Yeah, it's like a simultaneous thing, like you saw in the river. Remember, it's split up. Doing the same thing here, so. I dashed to the side. Moth. Fucking hell! What is with my rolls today? Yes, I'll done. I'll re-roll that. Okay. Else you're taking that. There we go. How many fate points does everyone How have left? Zero. Zero. How okay. is a Holy Zeno's Flame rounded? Down to three. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I just <laughs> okay. typed it. Don't worry. I meant to say energy, whatever, but... Doesn't matter! I'm running just regular damage, is it not? Pretty well, sure. no, it's just a damage table type. Yeah, so, so if it's you take, fine. So if you take critical damage, you know, you got to roll on a specific one. Yeah, you're fine. Rending, is, rending it is. So, uh, Virlo, go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another Lightning Claw. So it's what, plus 10 to hit? From you can hit? enter defensive stance, which like everyone has, uh, which basically allows you to stand. Like you don't make any attacks, but you get a plus one parry uh, and you get a plus, what is it, 10? I get like two parry. Oh, let me check. How it works exactly? I'm not gonna do that this turn. Defensive stance. All okay, right. you're, you're gonna attack. Sure. All right. I don't think that's it. Oh, actually, it's not. It's, it's like additional reaction, so you can dodge if you want. If you take a defensive stance. Ah, well, I didn't take a defensive stance. Okay. All so right. yeah, you tickle it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bersar, go. Alrighty. I guess I get within 15 meters of this guy, so here. No, we, we can say that this is like 15 meters if you want. It's like, that's yeah. Yeah, top of his head. Yeah. Sure. And then I call shot is the leg uh, that's been being hit. Go for it. Uh, Uh, 
By the way, how much longer do you guys want to keep going? Not that much longer. Not yes. that much longer. Oh my god. Holy So how fuck. are we treating that? That's a hundred, but it still hits. What is it? Is it Melta? Yeah. Let me check how Melta's work. No, I think Melta, like... Let me check. Let oh. me check. Let me check. Pretty sure it explodes or it overheats or does something. Why Certain do weapons do it, but not all Melta weapons do it, I think. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, Melta. Melta. Melt of weapons. Weapons, range weapons. Yes, thank you. It's just loading so 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 slowly, I'm sorry. Uh, That's fine. Must have a weapon, yada yada. It does not say anywhere that they need to that they explode. But the hundred, so critical failure, but he hits. So, so I'm just it's just, it's it's just like overheats. You could just say that it overheats. No, I, I'll make a call. I can um, re-roll it. I'll I'll re-roll it. Oh, you want to re-roll? You don't you don't want me to add some flair yeah, to it's this? It's a hundred, so I'm just gonna re-roll it. Oh, uh, okay. You know me too well, Moth. <laughs> Besides, those are my good pistols, and I don't want those exploding. <laughs> you know me far far too well. Much better. Okay. Okay, so that is now within half distance of both weapons. So point blank. What did Melta do at point blank again? Uh, the shotgun. Uh, if you're using the shotgun. Oh wait, no. Uh, it for every two degrees of success. I think I linked it in the default. Mine chain. says plus one hit for every degree of success. For yeah. scatter quality. Yep. Maybe it was. Yeah, the, but your dual I, shot. I think that was, that was, part of its uh, AI generation thing. Yeah, for every degree of success, uh, he. Hold on. Yeah, but it's your dual shot yeah, scatter. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know. No, okay. the yeah, other yeah. the dual shot isn't, but the shotguns. Yeah, well, so you get like four. Dual shot. You got three or four additional additional shots, yep. basically. Do it. Do it. Give me more. Yes. Where does those hit? That's all in the leg that Karnoff has been chipping away at. So, uh, so uh, four. Yeah, so you do four shots. Additional four Five. Shots. Plus one for every degree of success, plus the yes. additional hit. So minus eight armor, minus eight. Is it an auto shotgun? <laughs> no. So, yeah, sorry. Count, don't count the last 19. Oh. Because it's only got four shots, my bad. Well, let's see. Okay, eight times. So, what, four shots get through? Yeah, so 20, 21, 19, 20, and then 48. With 20 back. Okay, so. Might have killed it. Uh, let's find out. So that does nothing in the first impact. Twenty one. Two. So four, five, six, eight, seven, minus eight. So, that so okay, so I'm, I'm reading the rules more closely. So you do uh yeah, four mags, you do four damage, or like four instances of damage, and plus for each Two degrees of success, you do additional damage because of so the that, quality. What's that 48? What, what the 48 you... was the pistols. So I'm ignoring that. Oh, yeah, pistol. Okay, so. Separate weapon. So you can actually make one more shotgun damage right now. You only five. have uh, five when you can have six. Okay, 35 got through. Oh. So okay. also count that 19 and then plus another damage from the shotgun? Yes. Okay. Uh, like, here's the... If, if you want to read it yourself, like, here's the rule in the Death, Death Watch channel. So his armor is gone on his left leg. And so 
I believe you. Whoop. Hey. Yeah, his leg. There seems to be a hole now where you where you're concentrating your firepower on. <clears throat> oh, Karnoff, go. Lovely. Destroy it. Oh, hold on. I can also move since I'm pretty sure he's gonna murder the hell out of that thing now. I guess I'll s come up to the next room. Uh, question. Uh, how much armor and toughness does it like? Because like, ar like the number at the bottom is armor and toughness combined. But well, it, it has no, armor. It has no armor left. It has eighteen toughness. So, so it still has something. It's not nothing, but you just all armor has been removed off of it. I'm pretty sure he'll just eat through that toughness anyway. Yeah, they Let's see what's eating through the armor. Yeah. I'm going to do a, uh, a pro gamer move. I'm going to do a hammer blow. Which is just an attack. Plus. So that's going to be this. I will be right back. I need to grab some food. Okay. Plus shocking. Uh, Shocking. Okay. Okay, that hits. Yep. It's too big to dodge. Actually, it doesn't dodge. It just takes whatever you're throwing at it. Oh, whoops. That's that's the wrong. That's the wrong damage. Ignore that. Okay, so it's gonna do this. Uh, this. This, this. It has zero armor on its leg right now, right? Zero armor oh, other than 18 toughness. Uh, what was my strength bonus? Nine. Uh, Twenty-one. Ten. Okay. So it's gonna have ten. Wait, no, eight. So, after that damage applied, it's also going to be stunned. So it takes 48 damage? It's, it takes 48 damage, and it must make a toughness test minus 48. Can a non-living entity be stunned? Uh, if, it does, if, it, if it cannot be stunned, then it does, it is not stunned. Yes, sure. Right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to... Acrobatics check. Oh wait, no, I don't have to. I can just do this attack again. Yeah. Boop. And boop, 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 boop. Just hitting his leg continuously. Yeah, basically it takes about sixty damage. Well, about a hundred damage. Yeah. It's, Ninety-seven it, damage in total. It, it, it's barely standing. You see, it's kind of resting on its sword now after you hit its leg so intensely. You guys focus fire on its left leg. It's kind of kneeling down. <clears throat> A lot of its uh, crusty shell has been shredded. And once I... Uh... Well, hold on. Let's see here. One second. One, before I finish my turn. Before I finish my turn. I want to see if I have any talents which can help me. Okay. In that case, 
I would like to negate my stun things and my uh like just remove all of that. This damage stays the same. All of that stays the same. I'm just gonna make one more attack. Okay. Nothing basically changes. Uh okay. How much damage? I will tell you very soon. Forty-four. That hulking frame that you guys were engaging falls to the ground, seems to have dissipated, and out of it comes this. Oh God. It looks like a water lich, like a water spirit that has like a skeleton head and skeleton arms. Yep. I didn't have any flamey creature ghost apparatus thing to add, so I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. So. And my turn. Please go. Sweet. I take a full round action to punch him three times. <laughs> All right. Hope you can do enough damage. Hopefully. And remember, there's two extra damage added to each one of those. I believe that might have killed it. So minus 32. Yeah, 34. I'll, I'll add all that later. Give me see. 33. Six. So this thing, you see it disintegrate off of it. And in its place. I'm back with a miss. I uh, just missed a cuff the guy into the ground. Yeah, same and, for me. Yeah, and and in its place, you see a giant, fiery green spirit-looking thing peering at you. Oh, you want some too? Come at me! It <laughs> came out of this hostile. It came out of the things you just destroyed. It has the same piercing green eyes. These guys. <laughs> These guys will crush your soul too. Come at me. <laughs> Virlo, go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take a swipe at it with my lightning claw and see what happens. What? Didn't they go next? So they're hostile. No they shit. They came right out of the thing you just destroyed. All right. I mean, they uh, could be part of the puzzle. Well, too bad. Yeah. So let's see. Minus eight, minus twenty six. So minus sixteen. Okay, boop. It kind of just peers at you. <clears throat> Brasora, go. Okay. Seeing as how they're not a one and done deal, I'm going to run back now. <laughs> Where are you running? Uh, back to Garnoth. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, I see. I went to go help them to kill the armor of the thing, but they had it handled, so. Yeah, they have the boxer with them. It's okay. Okay, I get right oh, up I am there. the rock brother. <laughs> the rock brother. You guys want to end it here? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. How much? How much okay. damage should I do? You got uh, sixteen through. Okay, got it. They're just the, they're just the toughness. They are oh, all gone. All right. The Sorry, Zora I didn't attack. Sorry, I don't do that. I go over here and then I reload, and then it's my turn. No. Oh. Right. I, uh, I forgot I used all the ammo. Uh, three thousand experience points. Oh, sweet. Yeah, sweet. What are you guys think? What do you guys think of that one? Interesting. It was Interesting. difficult. I, yeah. I feel like I'm very fucking dumb because I don't see the solution to the puzzle, but it's also very interesting. I try not to do too many puzzles because those can get. Mm, I feel. Idiots. I feel pretty useless because uh, 
I can't make any of these checks. I feel <laughs> useless because uh, I have no hands. <laughs> you lost your hand. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got a claw stuck in your hand now. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, that'll make you all the difference. Hand. Yeah, you can scratch some people's backs now. <laughs> Butt scratcher. Well, we can either get you robot hands, or you can burn a fate point to regen them. So, yeah, I'll figure just that think out about next what... session. Right, and you get to figure out what they're regarding once you defeat these guys. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna end it here then. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I was like, man, okay. I don't think they can do a second stage. So. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. All right. I I'll... mean, you'll burn it down pretty quick, but. <laughs> I will see you all next week. All right. See you next week. All right, see ya.